Hey everybody, welcome back to Tabletop Warriors. We've got another epic game of 40k coming to you uh, in terms of a battle report. We've got myself, Will, Matt's in the house today. So uh, we've got a hammer and anvil deployment and we're going to be playing sweep and clear special rule. Um, basically that allows you, if you control a, an objective marker at the end of your command phase, you can retain that objective, kind of gets sticky. Uh, and then we're playing vital ground as the primary mission. Uh, Two for holding your home objective, five for one in no man's land, and six for controlling your opponents in their deployment zone. So um, we're going to see what happens and kind of get things going. I'll be playing Necrons today, uh, run you through the list here in a second. Matt's got his world eaters, and if you want to start us off, go, go through your list, and then I'll go through mine. Yeah, so uh, if you watched one of our previous games where I fought uh, the other Will with uh, his Grey Knights, I did a little bit of unga bunga with the world eaters. Didn't go so well for me. First to admit that. It's been a while <laughs> since I put them on the table. Um, it doesn't help the Grey Knights are also kind of a thing now. Very good. Yeah. Very good. And Will is, as much as he downplays it, he's a very good player. Oh, yeah. He's, he's solid. Very yeah. solid. Very solid. Now, uh, so my list, it's basically an expanded version of that. I took out the Knight Lancer. Okay. This is pure World Eaters. I have a, a, demon, a World Eaters Demon Prince. He has the Helm of Brazen Ire. Gives him, he halves damage. I have in, Lord Invocatus. I have a unit of three regular eight bound, which Invocatus has joined. Uh, so that unit base has scout six. Okay. And then Invocatus has his give two other units scout six. Then I have two units of three exalted eight bound. The champions have the twin uh, chain fist that they have, the paired chain fist. Right. Very nice weapon. Very good. Um, then I've got a unit of six exalted eight bound. So we're all kind of on the line here. The, the six man is behind this because... If I want, you know, gives me the option. We're all within six of Invocatus, all within six of the uh, the Demon Prince, so we get the nice buff from him to their Invuln save. Right. And then Invocatus has, has options because I got a three man here, a three man here. Got options for where I want to go with my scout moves. Yep. Then I have uh, three Hell Brutes, uh, two over here on the upper side of the board for you guys, one over there on the bottom. They each have a Twin Laz Cannon and a Hell Brute Fist with a Heavy Flamer. They're not great. They're T9, they're T10 or T9 with eight wounds, a two up save. But the fun part is and, they're. And no invul. No, no invul. No demon save, yep. But, you know, two up. So a lot of stuff is just. It's going to be on a three anyway. up or a two up, right? Yeah. Um, but the fun part is their frenzy rule. If you shoot them or fight them, they get to activate and return. And there's no limit. And I can shoot or fight anybody that I can target. Right. So the monolith shoots them. I can shoot the Nightbringer if I can see him. It's fun times. Yep. Uh, then I have two Forge Fiends. They've got the triple ectoplasm cannons. A little bit of that shooting. That, I mean, it's not as good as with CSM, but it's still solid enough. Yeah. Yep. Then in my back line, my one concession to facing Hypercrit is I have put two units of Chaos Spawn, World Eaters Chaos Spawn. Got to be specific. Yes. Because they're different. Yes. Two units of World Eaters Chaos Spawn right on my home objective, just screening out that three-inch deep strike. Yeah. So he can't drop. Right on your objective Did line. you bring the Deceiver or no? Nope, okay. no deceiver. So he can't drop the Nightbringer or the Void Dragon right on my objective. He has yeah. to be off yeah. of it. He can then kill them, but then he can't get on it until his next turn. Yep. So a little bit of concession there. Because honestly, against Hypercrypt, World Eaters aren't screening. We're not going to stop you. We just have to hope that we can get to you. Yep. i got to pin you. Yep. So it's going to be a little For cagey sure. from me. We'll see how it goes. Okay. Uh, yeah, so... Uh, you know, no, no surprise here. Hypercrypt, Necrons, yep. right? Yep. Uh, I have uh, quite a number of characters. Mm -hmm. um, surprised you didn't take fix, actually. But um, I have a 20-man uh, warrior blob with a chronomancer with dimensional overseer, so it gives me an additional mm -hmm. uh, uppy-downy uh, each turn. Then I have uh, Nightbringer here. I've got the Satan Shard of the Void Dragon over there. Um, I have Illuminor Zerus back here by my monolith. Uh, monolith. Mm -hmm. I have three individual Locust Heavy Destroyers with Gauss Cannons, mm -hmm. the, the big one with the heavy damage. I have a Transcendent Satan hanging out in there. I've got a Plasmancer with a Risen Tyrant, so when they come in, the Warrior unit will get a, a, a full set of rerolls mm -hmm. on their hits. Uh, with another 20-man warrior blob. Mm -hmm. Both warrior squads have Goss Reapers. Mm -hmm. And I think, I think that's my list. Okay.
Uh, I don't have anything off the board. Everything's on the board. I think you did the same. Same. Uh, I'll have stuff going back off the board and back Eventually, on. Eventually, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and I did take fixed. Mm -hmm. um, so I am going to go uh, behind enemy lines to play teleport homers. I know okay. I know everyone's shocked, but. Right. It's stun yeah. stunning. Yeah. A real real change up to the map. Yeah. Real real difference maker there. Yeah. Yep. But that's what, uh, that's what we're going with. Um, I think it just behooves me to do it. I mean, it. It you have a lower work, don't fix it yeah and you have a lower model and unit count mm -hmm. you have to get on objectives in the middle to score primary mm -hmm. it's going to leave some part of your backfield open where i can use a three inch deep strike or or just or advance with just the transcendent walk right on. and jump back there yep, yep. or just walk right on yep so yep. that's what we're going with mm -hmm. uh i think we're ready for a first turn roll yeah uh and uh tactical secondaries yep for matt fixed behind enemy lines to play teleport homers for me Mm-hmm. Cool. All right. Let's get to it. Let's do it. I have got a one. I got a three. That's exactly what I wanted to happen. I figured it was. As soon as I saw my one, I was He's like... He's looking for that. We did it, boys. Yep. We did it. He's playing into that. Yeah. So it'll be interesting. Yeah, um, definitely. Okay, so first things first. Gain a CP. Well, no. First things first, I've got my scout moves. Oh, yeah, which yeah. Is where yeah. we get clever. And uh, when we were setting up, I did, um, outside of the two Satan, nothing else is within 30. Mm -hmm. So for an average charge roll, along with his advances, his scout moves, his normal moves, if he rolls the plus two inch move and advance and charge on his, mm -hmm. um, what, are they, what are the points called? Uh, Blessings of the Blood God. Blessings of the Blood God. Mm -hmm. um, so outside of those sorts of things, um, or in addition to so those sorts of things, um, I, I did kind of favor back with everything. Uh, again, because especially me going second, now I can just teleport wherever I need to be for the most part. Mm -hmm. So so I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move my two units. Uh, I'm going to give my two units of Exalted 8 bound in the center, the three man, and then Invocatus' unit. I'm just going to move them up to six, and actually I'm going to... Oh, those are going to be your two scouts? Those are going to be you, my two extra select, scouts. Yeah. I'm going to leave everybody within the extra, because Will playing fixed means I know what he's going to do for secondaries. You so do. So if I can put something relatively tough on an objective... In the center. In it, the yeah. center, or on, you know, pick my triangle, hold it, and then my idea behind it is he's got to come here to score his secondaries. What? Right, so if I know that he can't, you know, it's a nine inch charge or he's three inching and he can't, we got options. We can see how things go. So that's gonna be that. Then I'm gonna, now I'm gonna roll my blood tithe or my blood tithe. I missed ninth edition so bad. <laughs> times. I'm gonna roll my blessings. Fro Freudian slip. My blood Yahtzee. Blood Yahtzee. Oh, oh, okay. All right, thank you for switching the dice over for me. It was yeah. very kind of you. Yeah. So I got... I'm here to help. Two fours, two sixes, and three fives. Oh, jeez. So that was pretty good. Kind of do whatever you want. Kind of do whatever I want. Um, I think what I am going to choose... Two fours, three fives, and two sixes. Oof. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think what I'm going to choose, because I don't actually want to advance and charge you, because I can't get to you. So what I'm going to choose... I mean, is, you could. I could. But then it's I'm, not terribly likely. I'm, I'm not doing anything to the Nightbringer. It's I'm true. I'm not doing anything to the Void Dragon. So what it's I'm going to do is I'm going to do the Feel No Pain, and then with my two sixes. Okay. And then okay. I'm going to do FNP lethal. activated. Um, hmm. No, I'm going to do the fight on death with the two fours. I think that's a good choice. Because I'm not going to be charging you. I'm going to wait for you to come to me. It's and then... so not corn of you. Right? It's it's weird. I'm insane. It's, yeah, I'm yeah. a crazy, insane in the main brain kind of guy. Well, that's very corn. Yes. But. Yes. I've got the pain engine ticking away. One might even say corn knee. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. 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 It's going to be you. a wonderful day. It's going to be. It's going to be a wonderful day. We're going to have fun with it. All right, so I'll go up a CP. You'll go up a CP. Yep. I'm going to draw my cards. Would you like to cut? Nah, I already right. did it. All right, I got bring it down and defend stronghold. Okay. I told right. you I already did it. All right, all right. <laughs> well, my home objective is sticky. Oh, by the way, they're all set up where you can only really do one a turn. Right. Yeah. 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 Okay, so bring it down. 
and defend stronghold. Eh, it's a, it's possibly a CP. I might decide to. Oh, I can't defend stronghold first turn. Oh, you dirty cheater! You are a dirty cheater. You got my hopes up. It just lets everybody know at home that we're hopes that we're not setting them up. And assassination. It it got better. It huh, got see? better. All right. You sure you don't want to charge into one of my ten now? Uh, you know what? Now you have to think about it, because I might keep that, and then you, you come might. to me, and I might just be like, Unga Bunga! Then again, maybe not. Maybe not. Yeah. yeah. Maybe not. Yeah. All right, so let's see what we can see. All right, so moving right along right. into the phase of the movements. All right. I'll allow it. So we're going to do a lot. I know I said I wasn't going to dance and charge, but we're going to do a lot of advancing. So this hell brute right here. Uh, in the back top corner is going to advance three inches. This one's going to advance five inches. The one at the bottom there is going to advance three inches. And I'm not going to waste any CP on any kind of <coughs> fancy, you know. I wish that was a bit farther. I'm not getting on that objective. But is what it is. It be what it be. And then this boy actually gets 11. So you know what? He's going to come. Right up next to him. Right up next to him. He got what he needed. Hanging out together. Out of that. And then this boy's probably going to be in a similar spot. Just not. Oh. Is that? Did I cheat? I think I cheated. Because there's no way. No? He's 18. Make sure the objective marker's on the, the line. It should be. 30. Yeah. Yeah. Is no. that? Okay. Okay. Maybe you were just further over on the train. Oh, don't forget this piece was further back. Right, that's it. Yep. That's what it was. That's yep. what it is. Okay. So he can... It was two inches further back. He can just barely tag that with his toe, with his big toe. He's tagging it. Perfect. I love it. Um, and then... Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Forge Fiend number one is just going to come right out here so we can get a little bit of line of sight on some stuff this gentleman is gonna do something a little similar so he's got a decent line in some places and then I'm not gonna move them because they can't move through walls I'm gonna leave the big six man where it is because decent threat and then I am going to just tow one three-man, eight-bound squad onto that center objective. Okie dokie. And then I'll move the Demon Prince just slightly so he can still cover everybody, giving them their nice four-up inbounds. Okay. Um, I can't shoot anything because you're a clever, cowardly, clever chap. Undead. Uh, you, could shoot to, you could shoot at them. Oh, yeah, I could. Oh, you advanced, though. I did, yes. So yeah, I can't yeah. shoot anything. Um, yeah, I think that'll be and I was, very... I'll tell you, I was hoping mm -hmm. that with your two Forge Fiends, you would go to the center. Because, mm -hmm. you know, it's typically a better idea to head towards the middle than the outside. Mm -hmm. So that's why I kind of favored the Warriors, like we were talking about in setup. I mm -hmm. favored them to the outside. So if you wanted to send your Forge Fiends way out here to the flank mm -hmm. and kind of be out of other than shooting Warriors for yeah. this turn... If you wanted to kind of be out of position, I was okay with it. Yeah. So, so that was kind yeah. of my thought there. Idea being, what I'm trying to do with the Forge Fiends is I'm trying to cover a bit of the lanes down the center. Yeah. Be able to hit something in the backfield when you invariably come there. Yep. But honestly, this is one of those got to play a little bit slower games for me. Yep. So we got to see what gotta I can do. slow it down and yep. try to, yep. But I managed to put myself on two objectives. In the center, you, yep. If you want to take me off of them, you've got to actually commit something to it. So I'm okay with it, and it'll give me the chance to come and hit you. So I'm good with that being my first turn. So not bad on your secondaries if you had drawn them later. Yeah. Drawing them first turn, not great. <sighs> yeah. So um, this is where it comes in down to, do I risk keeping them? Right. Or... Because if you keep them, I'm incentivized to then play significantly more KG. Right. The, but the thing there being... If you're playing KG, that means you're less likely to be scoring points with your big stuff. True. Gives me a chance, and then if I can't score it next turn, I can just bin it then. Yep. Very so true. I think I am going to keep them. 
Okay. Because I have then I'm incentivized. If you put a if you put a satan anywhere back here, I have the movement to come get you, mm -hmm. and then I'll hopefully be able to do something about it. So yeah, I'm gonna keep him. I'm okay. not gonna bin him. So that'll be the end of my turn one. Okay. At the we'll... end of your turn, mm -hmm. I am going to fix some units up. Yep. Uh, up to four. Mm -hmm. So 100% the monolith is coming off. Yeah, that'll that'll happen. That's that's happening. Mm -hmm. Um, we are also going to pull off the, I think Nightbringer and Void Dragon are fine. Okay. Illuminor Zerus, I believe, would also like to go along. Mm hmm Him being infantry is so good. Yes, it is. It's so good. It sure be. Um, so... I believe their guns are 48. 36. They're only 36? I believe they're only 36. Let me double check that for you. Yeah. Which is still okay. I can still get at least one on you. 36, yep. No, no, no. I'm not talking about yours. I'm talking about mine. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, yes. Your I believe the Gloucester structures are definitely are, 48. Are 48. Yes, yeah. they are definitely 48. Yeah. Okay, cool. So that's definitely two of those that I can send downrange at you. Mm-hmm. Well, I and this one can shoot straight ahead. Yep. At that guy. Just shuffling to the sides here. Um, the only other thing I need to make Sorry, a consideration on scoot these guys in just a little bit. Okay. Is probably warriors. So I've got two. I can do up to four. We're definitely gonna pull off the plasmancer squad of warriors. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm just going to shuffle them to the back here. Yeah, we, that's we, fine. We know they're off the board now. Big old 20-man bricks. And I kind of also want to pull off the other warrior brick. Or do I? Tis the question. We may actually just hold off. So I think it's just going to be them, and you know what? I will actually pull this off as well. That'll okay. be my fourth. And that's it. Okay. That's all I'm going to pull off. So uh, one of the Heavy Destroyers, 20-man Warrior Squad with the Plasmancer, Monolith, and Luminor Mm-hmm. And that's final answer. Okay. Cool. Uh, so start of the turn. Mm -hmm. We'll both go up to two CP. Both go up to two, and mm -hmm. I think that's it for command phase stuff. Mm -hmm. I don't have anything else. Yeah. Cool. Uh, so we can just go to top down. I'll update uh, CP real quick. And from there, we will go to top down. Mm -hmm. And I'll do some movement. Sounds good. Time for shenanigans. Talking about shenanigans? Yeah. You know, the place with a lot of shit on the walls. <laughs> <laughs> All right. First thing we're going to do is we're going to move ye old void dragon to here mm -hmm. so I can see your help route. Whoa. The lightning. It's a coming. Then we're going to move Nightbringer his six inches. That's probably my least favorite change of this edition is them all being mm -hmm. so much slower. Yeah. So we'll move... Now I bring her to there so he can see and be within 18 inches for Gaze of Death. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to go, let's see, measure out my 48 here because I want to try to keep them. These guys are just going to pop out so they can see and not grant you cover. Mm-hmm. Because I can see all of you. Then this warrior squad is going to... Hmm. You're all Reapers, right? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to shoot you anywhere with, with anything here. Mm -hmm. I mean, I could probably... If, if I advanced, I could likely get some shots there, but we're not going to. Okay. <laughs> just run at you. Yep. Um, what we will do, though, is just kind of line them up here for a later turn. 
Mm -hmm. So you're taking the first turn or two off from secondaries. I'm intending to take the first turn or two off from primary. Mm -hmm. So that is what we are going to do. They're just going to kind of go there and stage for later shenanigans. Mm -hmm. uh, then we're going to advance the transcendent Satan. Mm -hmm. Oh, I got to keep something on the home objective. Well, it's sticky. Oh, that's right. It is. Uh -huh. sticky Can I have a sticky? Uh, Please, sir. Yes, you may. Thank you. Just something where I'll actually remember it, hopefully. Mm -hmm. um, so he's going to advance. And he's going to advance off of the home objective back here, I believe. Mm -hmm. So I could go there. So here and supposed to be right to the point of my finger, right to there. Mm -hmm. Just trying to kind of limit or mitigate how much could come this way mm -hmm. at him. So yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. Let me make sure I am not within nine in either direction. I can actually come forward a little bit more. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be right at nine there and then outside of nine there. And then I am wholly within your deployment zone. Yep. That's going to be who deploys the teleport homer. Now I just have to take into consideration ye old monolith. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and I think hmm. I think the monolith wants to come in over here in this corner as well. Okay. If it can fit. It may, it may not. I think it can. I think it can. It cannot. Its oh, base is man. way too big. Gigantic. Which means it's not going to fit over there either. Mm -mm. But that's okay. Uh, I could use the three inch deep strike. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. So if I teleport, if I teleport this in here, outside of three, then I can be actually here. I think I'd still rather be further away though. So I think we're going to do that. Hmm. Yeah, because then they can shoot there too. Okay. So we're going to use one CP. We're going to teleport. Okay. Outside of three there. The other Locust Heavy Destroyer is going to come in over here. Mm -hmm. Might be a little bit of an overcommitment here, but I think we're okay with it. Then we're going to have Illuminor Zerus come in over here, outside of nine inches. Mm -hmm. Oh, just barely, just barely enough with that big old fat chunky base. Then, so I can go right up to the edge of here and I can go, whew, that is not enough for 20 warriors. So I'll have to spend the CP to have them come out of the monolith. In, yeah, order one of CP. operations, yep. Yep. So I'm going to spend one CP and have them come out of the monolith. Okay, so you're out. I'm out of CP. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there's our first grouping, and here we go. Uh, 
Um, which stratagem are you using? Uh, it's the monolith ability. Oh, the monolith ability. Okay. Yep. Right. So you're not. So okay. So you still have one CP. Uh, yes. I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah. I, I said spend a CP. Sorry. Yep. Yeah. So uh, the ability in question is uh, Eternity Gate. In the reinforcement step of your movement phase, you can select one Necron's infantry unit from your army that is either in reserves or on the battlefield. Uh, you remove it from the, if it's on the battlefield, you remove it from the battlefield, put it in reserves, and then you set it up anywhere on the battlefield that is wholly within six inches of this model. Mm -hmm. And then uh, can't declare a charge, unless I was to pay two CP, which I'm only gonna have one. Yep. So that is it for movement. Mm -hmm. So we are ready to mark you down to one. And let's do some shooting. Let's do it. Necron's favorite phase. Mm -hmm. uh, first phase thing Necrons. we are going to, yeah, hopefully, we're going to find out. Uh, first thing we're going to do is shoot, uh, and I've already called the Transcendent Satan's going to deploy, homers. deploy yep. teleport homers. Yep, I got you. Um, and then I'll have Max on behind any lines as well. Mm -hmm. uh, we are going to shoot the Locust Heavy Destroyer into your Hellbrute. Okay. That is on that objective there. Uh, we need a three. Mm -hmm. Looking for a six. That's a one. Mm -hmm. uh, that's that. One moment. Let me read the wording here. Sure. So, so each time an enemy unit targets this model, after that unit has finished making its attacks. Mm -hmm. So I get to shoot. Yeah, go ahead. So I'm going to shoot the Transcendent Katan. Go ahead. I hit you. Mm -hmm. uh, strength 12. Mm -hmm. Don't wound, but twin linked. I, uh, I think a three does wound. Oh, I'm only T11. Oh, okay, then I would do, I do wound you, but either way, it all worked out in the end. Yeah, T11. Okay. Uh, four up, in ball. Good. You're good. Uh, then we're going to take our two heavy destroyers. I'm going to roll them both at the same time. Mm -hmm. We're going to roll both of them at your held or uh, forge fiend. Forge fiend. Mm -hmm. So that's one lethal, mm -hmm. one uh, hit. T10. Uh, I need a three. Mm -hmm. Rerolling ones. That's okay. two wounds minus four. No two, cover. Five ups. Nope. Failed them both. Flat so that's 12. 12. I think he's just dead. I think so. Yep. He is just dead. Does CP explodes. he explode? I don't think it matters, though. Nope. He doesn't. He does not explode. Okay. All right. Well, that's fun. Now we're going to go with the Void Dragon. He's got some stuff. Mm -hmm. And junk. Yeah. Stuff and junk. Let's go ahead and throw a spear at your... Um, Hellbrute. Hellbrute. Mm -hmm. Does hit. Mm -hmm. It is anti-vehicle 2+. plus. Mm -hmm. That is a wound. Mm -hmm. uh, it is minus 3. Okay. So, so minus 2 for cover. Yep. So, so you'll be on be a 4. 4 up. Nope. It is D6 plus 2. Uh, before I see it. No. 8. I don't like you. <laughs> I don't like you. It doesn't matter if he blows up, so I'm not even going to roll it. I will, however... Wait, wait, it's only eight damage. He has eight wounds. Ooh. They only have eight wounds. They're not They're not tough boys. As uh, Christoph Waltz would say, that's a bingo! So I will, however, spend the CP to make that objective sticky. You got it. Because you kill the World Eaters unit on it. You got it. And you don't get to shoot because he's, he's dead, dead, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah, he did. Okay, cool. I mean, I, I assume... That's how, like... Yeah, because after you resolve. Rules is intended. After that unit is finished making its attacks, this model can shoot as if it were your shooting phase, fight as if it were fight phase. Pretty sure that means he can't do anything. Yeah, because you have to be on the table to shoot as yep. if it's your shoot phase. Yep. yep. Or fight as a fight phase. Mm -hmm. Well, that was good. Yeah. I like where that went. Yeah, that went well for you. Uh, my warriors don't have anything to shoot now. Well, they could shoot some spawn, I guess. Yes. Yeah. Oh, speaking of which, did I put the plasmids where you can see them? Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can shoot them. Um, the what plasmancer the... cannot. Do you? Ah, do you want to move him? No, it's fine. Am okay. I within eighteen of your demon friends? Uh, with the yes, you are. Okay, I'll just throw mortals there then. Okay. Um. So, speaking of plasmancer, let's go ahead and uh, go with that oh, unit. Oh, I had a feel no pain. Oh, okay. Yeah, I have more shots I'm too if he lives. Man. Yeah. He does live with one. Oh, okay. Well, I'll let's keep CP shooting back. at him then. Ha ha. You thought. I wouldn't ha-ha yet. You thought. We're going to know here in a second. Okay. Uh, D6 plus 3 from Voltaic Storm. 7. 
Oh, wait, wait. I get to shoot. Or no, after you activate, because this is the same activation. Never mind. I'll jump in the gun. Twos. Look, they all hit. Uh, sustain hits two on two of them, so plus four more. Yeah, Voltaic Storm. Sustain okay. hits two. All right, all right. So, well, all right, you wounded me on five, though. Sure. It's something. I'll take it. All right. I gotta take something. You gotta take something. You're gonna take. You're gonna take this love. So that's four. Minus okay. one, so with cover, you're just on a two up. Two ups. Just roll a one for me. I'll live. Yeah, baby. Damn it. All right. Yeah. Now let's. Shoot your transcendent katana. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. I hit you. Uh huh. You don't wound. Twinling. You don't wound. Ah! Stop jinxing me. Thanks for stopping by. No. All right. Uh, we're gonna shoot the Eldritch Lance from Illuminar Zeris. Mm hmm Three shots, hitting on threes. No hits. Okay. All right. I'm going to shoot your transcendent katan. Yeah, go ahead. I hit? You don't wound. I wound. Damn it. That's a four. Damn it. Seven. Down to four. Down to four. up. Yep. So feel Five up, no pains. I only take two. Take two. That's fine. Uh, he is down to ten. I got you. Oh, no. It's, it's the transcendent. Oh, yep. Oh, yeah. Shooting the right. trans cool. transcendent. All right. Uh, now I got to dedicate other shots to him. That's, <laughs> that's ridiculous. Okay, so uh, we'll just jump to the plasmats here, and then we'll get to the yep. monolith and stuff here in a second. So, bang, bang. We're gonna roll forty-six. Mm -hmm. I knew it wasn't three, but I. Like, six didn't sound right. Five yeah. didn't sound right. I was like, mm -hmm. I should have just said, oh, four. Yep. All right. So we're going to throw this at, and I'm assuming I can't see him from no, the plasma. definitely. Answer. Yeah. Okay. Definitely not. Okay, cool. So in that case, yeah, I will just throw them at your demon prince. Yeah, no. uh, that's four mortals. <sighs> Enjoy your feeling of pains, sir. Six ups. Hey, I take three. Yeah, you take that three. I've got some wounds left. Cool. That's that's the perfect number. I got seven wounds left. Yeah. Yeah, you do. Okay. Um, I was hoping to send shots there, but this guy's alive on one. Like a jerk. Um it's at the end of my shooting phase that I declare secondaries. Technically, you or is it just the, during. I've already um, declared it. You declare yeah. the action in your shooting phase. Okay. Yeah. So. I probably should have just done it with the warriors. That way, the transcendent could shoot because the I shooting mean, is better. It's but. still your shooting phase. No, no, no. Although, well, yeah, it's the. I caught it way before. Yeah. So I'm going to. So shot, 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 shot. Uh, let's go ahead and do the Nightbringer, mm -hmm. and I can think about that a little longer. Mm -hmm. Nightbringer is going to go ahead and shoot at this one that's um, out of cover. Yeah. Yep. So it is D three shots. Mm -hmm. We're going to get a three here. You're done. Three shots. It's, I, you know, the called shots are just it's so it's yeah, it's I so mean, worth it. Absolutely, every time. We're going to hit on twos. Yep. I feel pretty good about that. Yeah, it was, that I'm was, okay with that. That was that was, that was good. All right, I'm going to wound you on a three. Yep. That okay. is a wound. AP. Minus two. So that'll be a four up. We're good. All right. And uh, I'm going to shoot the Nightbringer. Yeah, go ahead. Well, you could see the monolith. I'd be shocked if you couldn't. It'd be a five, though. Nah, I'm going to shoot the Nightbringer. Yeah. Doesn't hit. All right. Uh, okay. Okay. Now to the monolith, mm -hmm. the old monolith. Uh, we've got four death rays to mm -hmm. shoot, and we've got the particle whip. Let's see. So the death rays, we're going to send, like a madman, we're going to send one at your hellbrute. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. You know what? Let's do two. Let's do two at your hellbrute. Okay. The other two will go at your demon prince. Sure. And then the... Uh, particle whip is going to go at your it is black two. I can see the spawn with the monolith. Oh yeah. Okay. You can 
this again. Uh, they are toughness six? Five. Five, okay. Let's send the particle whip at... What's the break on your units of eight bound here? Three, three with invo. Three. Okay. Let's send it at the three that are on the, with the guy towing on the onto objective. the objective. Sure. Yep. So let's go ahead and do that first. It's mm -hmm. 3d6, mm -hmm. uh, no, blast. no blast. So two, four, five, six, seven. Mm -hmm. Going to hit on threes. Mm -hmm. All hit. Nice. Take that. Strength eight. I'm going to wound you on threes. Mm -hmm. uh, sixes are devs. So there is four devs, or two devs, two, four damage. Four damage. And then. Mm -hmm. Four saves at minus one. Okay. Uh, cover. So that'll be on their three up. Yep. Because you, well, you'll have to roll one of the, t uh, no, you'll have cover on all of them because um, the ruin is interesting. Oh, yep. Yep. So four, three ups. Okay. So I take three total. Mm -hmm. And then that'll be six, uh, five up feeling the pains because they yep. have a base five up, or base six up. <sighs> so one's dead and one's at one. Okay. Okay. Do you want to pull the guy off the objective or? Um, no, <laughs> I don't think I do. I'm going to take. I'm going to say good call. Good call on that one. On that guy. Sounds, sounds. Uh, reasonable. Reasonable. Makes and, sense. And yeah, full of logic. Uh, okay. Now let's go with uh, the shots at the, uh, two shots here mm -hmm. at the Hellbrute. Yep. Threes. I don't think this has, it does have sustained hits D3 though. Okay. So D3 additional is three. So four, <laughs> needing threes. Okay, that's Ew. four at minus four. So minus three with cover, so you'll be on five. Five, I'm gonna make all of these. Okay. I'm not even looking. You made one. All right, that's what I figured. All right, He's so dead. here's, well, you have to feel no pains. Uh, tr I'm, I don't think we need to. It's 3D6 plus three. Let's see, let's see what it looks like. I mean, it's only nine. Six. Oh yeah, three it's plus yeah. one each. Yeah. No, I'm not doing that. Okay, we're not doing that. All right. <laughs> All right. I now maybe you, maybe if you had like five or six if wounds it was left, a, yeah. yeah. If I had a yeah. decent number, I'd. Uh, and try. then these are the two at your demon prints. So yeah. uh, see if we can get them. Sticking that objective. Yep. So one hit. I'm I'm tempted to go ahead and use my last CP here to re-roll this. Mm -hmm. I'm going to. Okay. Number one, of course. Yeah, that's All the right. way it works. Uh, need a three to wound you. Mm -hmm. Minus Wounds? four. Okay. So uh, we'll say cover. Well, I mean, he's got a two up, four up. Oh, so, so you're just taking four up. Four anyway. up. We're good. You're good. All right, cool. So good. And then how many warriors did you say I have into the... Uh, you will have... Squad of uh, duders. So it's a broken... Into two and two. Two and two. Yeah, yeah. I'll just fire at one of the two men. It's the closest yeah. one. And don't forget, I only have a 12 inch range, so. True. Uh, I so might not even not have anybody in range. It's gonna be, I see. I'll take as many as I get. I like see. Three. I'll give you, I can give you two. Two? Okay. Yep. Cool. So two guys, four shots. Uh, looking for fives and sixes because they're lethals mm -hmm. with the Plasmancer. Uh, so only one hit and one lethal, and that is just. One. Singular. Yep. And uh, it is minus two because yep. Illuminar Zerus is within three so inches of the unit. They have a four up cover. Yeah, cover. Um, so that'll be a five up. Okay. Nope. Takes a wound. Yeah. Yeah, baby. Did it. Did it, boys. So that'll be, I think I have three, four wounds apiece. I'll clarify that shortly. I miss the old five man, six man bricks of spawn. Yep. Four wounds, four up. It's T5. Okay. So I'm going to mark this Necrons and mark that World Eaters just so we don't forget who's got what sticky. Yep. And then uh, your home objective too. Well, I, yeah, I got stuff on them though, so. Sure, but just so we know. Yeah, that makes sense. That way when you walk off, it'll be obvious. Yeah. Because I'll lose track. Mm -hmm. um, and I'll prep another one because you're going to have the center that you'll do it on too. Mm -hmm. Here momentarily. Okay. Uh, no charges because mm -hmm. I've yeah, no, no charges. Zero. Um, nothing else Nada. to do. Oh, you know what? I think my Chronomancer could take a couple pop shots. So why not? With my stave, 
Oh no, keeping I'm going to be outside of 18. Mind. I'm going to yeah. be outside of 18. Yep. Also keeping in mind that with that kind of profile, pop shot, yeah. I just get to shoot you back for free. Yeah. I mean, you haven't really done much yet, so. I can put two wounds. It's really fun in the nights cuz you just get to the they just hit you and then you just pew 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 pew. pew. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's just fun. You're like, "No, take it back." Yeah. Okay. Um okay. that is my great big turn. I'm going to score a massive eight points yep. for secondaries. Big points on secondaries. Deployed. Um, and uh, I've got four units currently behind enemy lines. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. That's it for me. That's it for you. That's big turn. Big boy. That was a big turn. Very big turn. That was good. Impressive. Yep. All right. So I don't like that you sticky that one because now you're scoring you know, a massive 12 on primary. But Happy dance. Uh, World leaders, so happy dance. End of my turn. I am at 18. Mm-hmm. I've still got one CP. You are still at two CP. And then we'll go to top of two. Mm -hmm. So we're going to score a great big 12 points. 12 to put you at 22. Yep. You'll go to three on CP. Mm -hmm. I will go to two. Uh, no, I'll go to two because I spent one to make it sticky. Oh, that's right. You did. Mm -hmm. um, Look at you. Oh, yeah. So I don't owe you any... Battle uh, shock battle or, shocks. Yeah, nothing crazy. Um, so that's sticky, that's sticky, that's sticky. Let's go ahead and roll my blessings. One might even my, say so sticky. My blood Yahtzees. Blood Yahtzees, yep. Okay. Uh, this is a much Not worse roll. great. So we got two threes, two three threes, ones, and that's it. Three ones. Oh, that's not good. A four, that's a five, not good, and a six. Because I actually wanted advance and charge this turn. I wanted it. You um, did not get it. So you know what? We'll go ahead and take the two-inch move, mm -hmm. and then so this so actually you no. can get the two-inch move with the double yeah, ones, right? So I'm thinking. So why wouldn't you take sustained yeah, or the feel no pain? I think I'm gonna take the sustained, and I don't know why I'm using these dice because these are the dice I need to roll. So I'm gonna take the sustained hits and the two-inch move. Okay, that's what it. I'm gonna do. Yep. So that's always fun. This is why I, I really miss the ninth edition. It's, a, it, it's too zinchy. It's too zinchy. Yeah. Rolling the dice like that. Yep. Uh, okay. So two inch move, no advance. And charge. unfortunately, you have no way to impact it either. Yeah. Well, I, if you well, take yeah. berserkers and a few other things, you can. Yeah. There's an enhancement that lets you once per game just re-roll it. Right. But like. But then you're also stuck with it. And yeah. yeah. It's yeah. like could be worse. And it's a one use. And that enhancement like, is 20, 20 points, 20-ish 20? Okay. points. They dropped it I down. I was going to say 20 it, or 25, but... Because it was once per turn or round you could do per it. Per battle round, yeah. Yeah, and it was yeah. 40 points. It's like, that's really good. I would take that and take that every time. Um, kind anyway. of kind of makes it Angron coming back yeah. a little bit more likely mm -hmm. over, you know, a couple of turns. Yeah, two or three very turns. nice. Okay, well, we're going to move on into movement. All right. I think Man I've got done. an idea of what I'm going to do. Okie doke. Let's see what we can do about this. Let's see, let's see. Why is that green? That's weird. Okay. So he doesn't need <coughs> to <Excuse> move. <coughs> let's see. Oh, uh, and my spawn heals for his massive wound, so he is back to full. Well, come on, man. Well, I... <laughs> you like how I Joe Biden you there? Come yep. on, man. Come on, man. It's right. it's the perfect counterpoint. So we can move. You think about it. 11 inches here to a nice 8 inch charge. Um, you know, these dice have been rolling so well for me today. I'm keeping them on sixes. <laughs> all of them. Just going to be a sea of sixes. And that's what you do. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let me see. That here. is how we do it. Doing a lot of Trixie shenanigans. So that's going to be two eight inch charges. The demon prince moves his 10. You're moving backwards? What are you doing? Right? Oh, you still have bring it down assassination. Yeah. Yep. Okay. 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 So, uh, all right. First things first. Spawn are going to come and get you. Uh uh. Going to move their 10. Don't you do it. Gonna move ten. So this is that point when you're playing Hypercrypt where you realize there's not much I can do 
to stop you with this army. So what I'm going to do is try to cripple something as badly as I can. Mm -hmm. That's the best option I've got right now. Yep. I don't really have anything else I can do. Man, I wish I'd gotten advance and charge because these boys can get to here and that is just out, like way out of being able to affect anything. It's really irritating, but they'll just stick there and hopefully be able to hit something else. Yep. So, yeah, here's what we're going to do. We're going to bring these boys back there 11. And let me know if you choose to overwatch at all. I'm good so far. Go there. Whoops. He almost stabbed me. And he's going to move his 11. And then... Okay, are you... How many of those warriors are you within 12 inches of with that unit? This one? Yes. So, a decent amount. Is it two, four, eight um, that are out of range? On. Or? Hang on. What are we looking at? So, I've got... I'll measure from this side since yeah. you're checking that side. I think these... These are all in over here. Uh, these two in the back are out. Okay. So, it looks like most of them. So, I will likely go ahead and overwatch... Mm -hmm. There. Yep, that makes sense. Um, because I am getting, uh, it'll be 36 dice. Yep. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and roll this, if that's okay with you. Go right ahead. And we'll go from there. Mm-hmm. Uh, no rerolls because Arisen Tyrant is not in effect right now. Mm -hmm. um, but sixes are lethal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> one, one, one lethal. <laughs> okay. Yeah, boy. Should have been six on average. What yeah, is boy. happening? And then... All right, so you've got one save at minus two. That was so worth the CP. <laughs> Oof. So uh, five up. Nope. And then five up, feel no pain. Nope. So a guy takes a wound. Yeah. Oh, one of those. A bunch of those are wounds. Yeah. Give me I'll, back. I'll put them back over here. Give me back. Yeah. See. Uh, and then one guy's at two. Okay. And then these lads are gonna hop. You know what? They're gonna advance. Okay. So they've got all the movement. They're just gonna. Get up. Well, actually. Get up, stand up. Stand up for your rights. Hmm. <laughs> actually, yeah, they are going to come up here and they're going to hide right behind this terrain. Just so you have to come dig them out. Okie dokie. Not in the terrain. Got to come dig them out. You need to get a good line on them. Um, this hell brute is gonna move eight inches forward, and that's that's an eight inch. It is what it is. Um, this hell brute is gonna come eight inches forward. What? And then I think that's gonna be my movement. Okay, well, okay. I baited out that that Overwatch, so you're out of CP. So that's good. I'm not out of CP. Um, Remember, I was at two. Right, right. Uh, how? Remember, yeah. I only spent one last turn, not two. Yep, I didn't track it. You're at one. Yep, yep. I'm intelligent. Bring it down. Okay. Are you good with movement or? Um, actually, no. I need to hang on. Okay. I need to think about this because I may have done a silly. Actually, this boy is going to stay over here, and he's going to... We're not going to go quite as far as we thought. What? Actually, you know what? We're going to be... We're going to be real silly. Just be over here. I don't think that's silly at all. I think it's a good idea. Yeah, it's a smart idea. Yep. Because I need to focus fire is what I need to do, because the monolith is going to give me a lot of points on bring it down if I can bring it down. And, uh, yeah, let's see what we can do about it. Okay. All right, moving on into the Schustenfazen. So, yeah, you got to what? It's going to be a nine on the dice. 
great. To get to get within cool one inch. Cool. I like it. Because I will be at yeah, that's fifteen, which puts me yeah, so a six inch move plus a nine inch charge. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. I like it. I'm good with it. Yeah. All right. So good with movement. Yep. Good with movement. Uh, force beam. Did it move? Is uh, it, it just shuffled back just okay. a tad to make sure it had you know fully Line clear. Yeah. Monolith. Yep. Uh, totally not, get it. Not so much into the monolith. I'm thinking the warrior bricks. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Your blast is soften them effective. Up. Yep. Yep. It's gonna be real effective there. Um. Okay. So first things first. Gonna take the hell brutes into the monolith. I'm gonna. Um, I think the front one you won't have cover against. Okay. The back one you will. Sounds good. So I'll do the front one first. Hits. Uh, this will need a five. Twin links. Nope. Back one. Mm -hmm. Hits. Hits. Doesn't wound. Twin linked. Wounds. So okay. that'll be AP three down to two. Uh, oh, because I have cover on this cover. Yep. yep. So four up in bowl. Or four up armor. Four up armor. Yep. All right. Minus you're two. totally fine. Okay, we're not bringing down the monolith. That went well. Very good. Great. We did it. We're doing a good job, boys. Yeah. Okay. Um, da, 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 da. The only other shooting we have is the one Forge Fiend. If the good news is the Plasmancer is the one you can't take away. So I'm going to go ahead. I am going to shoot the Warrior Brick. Okay. Try to soften that up. Yep. All right. So that'll be 3d3 plus... Four blast for each gun, so plus 12. Okay. Right? Sound right? Because it's three separate guns. Yeah, it's D3 plus three each. Or D3 plus four each. Yeah. Yep. So three, three plus 12. So that'll be three, six. So 18. Sounds good. Okay. All right. Hitting on three. Uh-huh. All right. Missed with five. Not bad. And wounding you on twos. Not bad. Um, lost, dropped one. Minus three? Minus three. Okay. So you'll get cover. So I have, well, I have cover and oh, I have Illuminor Zeris. So it'll be only minus one. Yep. So, so my fives. fours will go to fives. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I may have a reactive stratagem that I'm going to use here. Uh, it'll be after. Let's see. Da, 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 da. Nope. I don't not go out there for hypercrypt strategies. I do. Uh, bum, 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 bum. I think the only reactive. I think one it's two CP though. Getting pulled it into is. the monolith. Yeah, isn't it? Yeah. But what would that do for you? Since you're already next to it. Oh, I passed a lot of these. Oh wow. There's a few too many. I only lost five guys. Okay. Well, all right. Five guys is five guys. Yeah. Um, do you have a preference? Uh, the guys in the front, like here, here. Um, actually, it doesn't matter because the plasma is there. So, mm -hmm. yeah, you can pull the four that are in front. To, yeah, mm -hmm. four there, and then one more. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Okay, that works fine. Thank okay. you, sir. Um, pretty sure that's the extent of my shooting. Okay. So now we're gonna go into the world eaters. Bestest, greatest, most funnest of phases. No, the only thing I was thinking there, yeah, with the reactive uh, from the monolith, mm -hmm. is that I could potentially, like, I know your your spawn are going to make it, mm -hmm. so I could just favor everything over to that side mm, and right. make these charges longer for longer. Invocatus, the yep. eight bound, yep. that sort of thing. Gotcha. That was the thought process there, mm -hmm. um, or to do it the opposite way, where more of them and not the spawn could make it. Mm hmm So that makes sense. Okay. So <coughs> just doing a little measuring just so yep. I know what's what. Yep. Demon Prince needs a seven. Yep. Invocatus and his eight bound need a six. Yep. The exalted eight bound need an eight. Okay. Okay. Yep. And then the spawn need like a four, a four, and then a four. A or six. Four and a, a six. Just because the bases are so big. Four and a five. Yeah. No, it's a six. Because like, well, I mean depending on where they can get to. Oh, it's sure, 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 sure. Yeah. You're saying like if you have to go around your other yep, spawn. I got to go around, yep. Well, if you just charge them first, then the other two guys can go straight ahead. Well. So I think I think it's a four and a five. 
Yeah. I, I think you're fine. Just go with the five first, so, yep. you, so your other spawn base doesn't block them. Yep. So, okay, so I'm going to do the front. And don't roll high, so then your other second spawn Pass doesn't have to get yeah. in and then right. make it Because I have control over that. I can yeah. absolutely control it. Yeah, yeah, With my mind powers. All right, which, who's going first? Where? All right, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to roll the first unit of spawn. Okay. And we got a six. Yep. Okay, okay. So... Which is good, because your back yep. one can't. So I'm going to put him right here. Your second one can't get in the way now. Well, I think I messed that up. Let me see. Oh, they're two and two. Yeah, they're two I and see. two. Okay, yeah, then the back so, yeah, one probably just, is a six. We're just going to do this. Probably was a six. And then I'll do the second unit of spawn. What I would suggest here... Actually, wait, yeah. I would suggest you go with the Demon Prince. Yes. So you, your spawn can't block him. Yes, that's a good idea. I would go Demon Prince now and then Invocatus next. Mm -hmm. Because I probably wouldn't even send the spawn in. Yeah. Unless you're able to line up all the other charges perfectly. Yeah. Because as those units go in, they're going to start blocking each other mm -hmm. if you roll high. Yep. All right, so I'm going to take that advice. Going to yep. go with the Demon Prince. Yeah, I would. Got a seven. I think yep, I said that. Yep, that's what you needed. Yep. yep, that needed it just barely. And Gets then I him. would favor him a little to the left. Yep. Just put him right here. Yep. Because he doesn't quite. So this is actually, I'm not moving him. Normally what I would do in a friendlier game is I would just move him into base because he's going to pile in anyway. Yeah, but, but given the scenario I've got here where I have to be very careful, yep, I'm not going to move him right to our engagement because then... I might be able to pile him in so now, to the Warriors. I, if it were me, I would go with Invocatus' yes. squad because, Absolutely. again, your 8-bound could end up and rolling just enough and then having to go in front of the Plasmancer, which blocks them off potentially. Also, Invocatus only needing a 6 means yep. he's much easier to get in, and then I can use the CP reroll on the 8 on the Exalted. Well, hopefully. if you have an 8, because they may right. junk it up too. Right. Yeah. So Invo gets the 5. That's not going to do it. I think I'm going to spend the CP reroll here because his squad it's, is. It's at better goal. than two tries at an eight. Yep. The second try to six is good. Got yeah, a seven. There you go. Perfect. Perfect. So. And it seven. wasn't too high, so you might yep. be able to. So I can just pop Invo right here and then put his boys right behind. Yeah, because they can't him. get around to get there. Yep. yep. And then with the pile in, I'll be able to jigger them around a bit so they can all yes. get their attacks. And now you now, probably still have an squad, eight. Nope, that's going to be a nine. Okay, to get so around your nine, other guys. But you know, it is but what it is. But it's better than something better higher than, than not that. being able to get in at all. Yeah. So let me get that guy over here. These are for the demon prince. All right, so let's do, let's hope for something big here. Come on, boys. 11. There I you love go. it. Yep. I love it, I love it, I love it. And now you can go back and try to roll your six on your other spot. Yep, because they got plenty of room. Yeah, now you so can 11. probably get both of them in way back there. Yep, so he is all the way over base. here. And then this guy actually nicely can't... He can get there, though. Yeah, he can. Yeah, yep, he can but, get but, there. but that's fine, that's because fine. Yeah. these guys just have to touch Invocatus' base, yep. and you have more than enough with your three-inch. Is it... A base of the same. That's unit? a good question. When we were when we had the games going last night, mm -hmm. and and you guys were playing, I was actually thinking the same thing. So I'm gonna look it up. So while he's looking that up, because it's actually interesting, I'm gonna roll the other spawn, and got a six. That might be absolutely perfect. Yes, it is. So we'll get right here. Since we can't get into base, we're just gonna. Put them right there so we don't block the demon it's prince. own unit its own unit okay yep, yep. so we're gonna put them base right to base to base there okay well that's fine i got plenty of pylon will get me where i need to be so you then... can't you can't then tag the demon prince's base and count as mm -hmm. yeah yep. it has to be your own unit yep so now but you'll still be able to do it you just have to swing that way to get the two in mm -hmm. and the touch invocatus's mm -hmm. base Okay. On your pylons. So now the interesting thing comes where we get is order of activation. Well, I can't interrupt. True. So you can will... just swing across. Well, so the thing is, though, is if I can kill enough mm -hmm. to get it, because I can get into, most of these can get into engagement with the monolith, and I've got two units which have big, big swings mm -hmm. that hit real hard. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually activate Invocatus's unit first. If, because... it, if it were me... Mm -hmm. I'd go with your spawn first. Well, mm, no, I'm going to do Invocatus' unit first. Okay. Because 
Invocatus' unit, they hit hard, but they can't hit a vehicle. Because they're max strength 8. They're not going to do enough into the monolith. Yeah, but your spawn are even less likely. Yeah, but worst case scenario, mm -hmm. the spawn's attacks aren't that great anyway. Okay. If they can just... I just want them to tag your monolith. I don't care what they do. Okay. So I'm going to... I'm going to go ahead and get them. I'm going to go ahead and do Invo okay. and his also. And this is this is not meta. This is just, I want to swing with Invocatus. No, oh, sure. I want to yeah, swing yeah, yeah. with Invocatus. Yeah. That, is, that is also a valid uh, yep. thing. Yeah. So, okay. So Invocatus is going to use Coward's Bane. Uh, he's hitting you on twos with eight attacks, strength seven on the charge. So, oh, I need to do their pile in. Yes, to, just to get the so other two where Invo, they can... He should already be based, yeah. Yep. So this guy's just gonna swing over to get to here. Yep. And, and then that guy, guy touches swings his base there. over to get to here. Yep. Gotta love those and big just move your wounds chonky so you know. bases. Yep. yep. Gotta love big chonky bases. Okay, yep. so Invocatus hitting on twos with sustained hits. So I got one, so picked up that miss. Yep, and it goes right back in. Yep. yep. And three strength seven, so three. C4. Uh miss with two. Um, but, 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 that's three butts. Bound. I like them. I cannot lie. Uh, makes a melee attack, reroll the wound roll of one. Yep, so you had so two I wounds. I will reroll those. Miss one. Appreciate that. So we got seven wounds total for you, and those are going to be eight uh, AP something. AP two, two damage each. This goes down to one. Mm -hmm. So five. Uh, is it only against ranged attacks, or is it all attacks? I believe it's all attacks. That's pretty good. That's yeah. That's pretty good. I'll double check since you asked the question, but uh, let's see. You know, within three, each time a model in that makes an attack, improve the armor penetration characters by one. Uh, uh, each time an attack targets that unit, okay. worsen it. All right. So it's only AP1. So I'm on fives. Nice. Uh, I lose five more guys. Okay. All right. So then... I'm going to take uh, Juggernaut's Bladed Horn, five I'll keep, attacks. I'll keep a die here so we just know how many guys are out of the unit. Yep. Uh, these will be hitting on threes. Uh, miss two, but pick up one for sustained. Okay. And these are strength seven on the charge as well, but I have Lance, so I'll be wounding you on twos. You got it. So that's four at AP one, down to AP nothing with Zaris' ability. So four ups. Lose okay. two more. Lose two more. So that is up to a seven. Okay. Then we'll go ahead and get to the eight bound. I've got, he had the heavy chain blade. So he gets nine attacks on the charge, hitting you on threes. Okay. Uh, that'll miss a few. Not great. Um, pick up one for sustain. And then these will be strength eight. So I believe wounding you on twos. That'll be five wounds for you. At AP three, down to AP two. Okay. Uh, AP2 will take my 4 to a 6. Mm -hmm. I have passed on. So okay. 5 more down. So that goes up. And then we've got uh, some eviscerator. That's 5 more. Yep. These are both 6s now and a 1. So that's 13. I think I have 2 left and then the Plasmancer. Because I killed 5. You killed, so yeah. Far. Yep. yep. So 13 six, seven, from the 15 remaining is, three, is 2 in the Plas. Four, 5, 6, 7. Okay, and then these will be the eight bound eviscerators. Yep. Hitting you on threes. Got a cup, got three sixes there, so I pick up three and I miss with two more. And then these will be strength six, so wounding you on threes. Uh, but I re roll ones to wound, which is good. Okay, so I've got. Four, eight, nine for you on AP2 down to AP1. Okie dokie. So nine, AP2 down to AP1, so fives. Oh, I have to slow roll. Mm. Sorry. Yeah. No, it's fine. You're good. So you got um, two guys left. Yep, so first two, make them both. Nice. Second two, one's, uh, dead. one's dead. Uh, last one, or next one. He's okay. dead. So the last four go on to the Plasmancer. The Plasmancer. Let me see if his save is any different. I think it's just a four. It is a four. Yep. So those will be on fives. And they're two damage each. He is dead. Okay. So 
So that's one unit. And an assassination. Mm -hmm. I like it. Scored some points there. Yep. I will remove the last of those. Boop, boop, boop. Okay. So. Now you have choices on what you want to tag. I do. I do, I do, I do. Because that was, which unit was that? Was that still Invocatus' unit? That was Invocatus. That was okay. all Invocatus. So, what <coughs> I am going to do hmm. no, nope, can't get Zara's. Hmm. You can still fight Zara's this phase. Oh, I know. I'm thinking. I was thinking if I could tag him with them, but I think what I'm gonna do is you wouldn't I'm, want to. I would just no. tag the monolith. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna pop Invo forward, so he tags the monolith. Messing up people, so I'm gonna swing him a little bit, so that my demon prince still has plenty of space to get in that four. Yep, so we can get into the one. Oop. I'm not gonna break stuff. I promise. You're good. All right, and then. That'll just shuffle a little bit forward, mm -hmm. stay in coherency. Yep. Okay, next I'm going to activate my Demon Prince. Mm -hmm. So he moves his three. So he can get just here. Oops, nope, I needed to shuffle Invo just a little bit that way. So that's what we did. All right, so Demon Prince is within. And then we're going to use his... And let's, while we're here, yeah. I'm assuming you want to tag both. Uh, yes, they, will, they yeah. will go ahead and tag both. Yeah. Yep. And then... Um, I'll go ahead and shuffle these up too. Yeah, we'll go ahead and because it's all two, it's all two. the same. Yep, yeah. they're all going to move. Just so we can just get just it all done. Along, we don't have yep, to come back and. Yep. Now that we've determined, it's less of an issue now that the the warriors are dead. Okay, so I'm going to use the demon. I'm going to activate the demon prince. Going to hit with his strike. Okay. This is going to be six attacks, hitting on twos, hitting on twos. Hmm. It is not worth it here, so I'm not going to spend any CP. Okay. So hit on twos, miss twice, but pick up one for sustain. Yep. And then. And this is into monolith. This is into the monolith. Okay. Strength eleven, so I need five. So mm -hmm. with dev wounds because I charged. All right. So I've got one save for you at AP two, and then one dev wound. Two saves. Oh, two saves. Sorry, two saves yeah. at AP two. Mm -hmm. So fours. Okay. Make one fail one. So three damage each, six total for you. Okie doke. All right, I'll take that. I'll take that. Um, I'm going to activate the Exalted 8-bound next. And what I'm going to do is spend a Sippa. Spend a Sippa. Okay. For... Gory Massacre. Nope. I'll get there. Hang on. Yes. I'm this gonna... giant pile of dice is the monolith. Yes. Got um, left. And actually, I should have done this in turn. When I killed the warrior unit, I'm going to make a blessings roll. Oh, okay. One of my CP. And then I'm going to spend my second CP for, for, the, for the skull throne. The exalted eight bound unit gets plus one to wound the monolith. Okay. Because it's a character, monster, or vehicle. So, making a quick blood tide roll. Mm-hmm. Yep. Two sixes, two threes, two twos, and two ones. That was amazing. Um, you know what? I think, I think what I want is I'm going to spend the two sixes for lethal hits right beforehand. All right. So I've got lethal sustained and plus two inch move rate. All right. Now, getting back to it. Gonna take Exalted Eight Bound into a Monolith. Five attacks with the Paired Chained Fist from the Champion. Okay. Hitting on threes. Uh, missed twice, but pick up one, and that's a lethal. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Strength 14, wounding on threes, but and plus this one. Is, oh, you did this as yep. Okay, cool. So plus one, so wounding on twos. So that's gonna be four for you at AP three. What's the strength? 14. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Uh, AP three. AP three. So fives. Okay. So that's uh, eight damage. Oh yeah. Take it. Okay. 
And then, oh, wait, I'm sorry. I got another attack with that. I always forget that. Hits. One more save. Uh, roll it for me. Okay. Is it a five? Yeah, same thing. Okay. Another damage. So that's ten okay. total. All right. And then another chain fist. Hits three times. And wounding you on twos. Three more saves. Minus? Uh, minus three. Okay. Five. Six okay. damage. Okay. Takes it. All right. Down to one. I'll take that. I'll take that. But why would you not? Uh, okay. So. Probably should have spent this EV and give myself a four up in bowl. But Maybe. Whatever. Maybe. All right. So uh, now I've got two units of spawn. Uh, if you don't mind, I'm just going to roll them twice. Yeah. 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 So yeah. that'll be 4d6 plus eight attacks. Uh, make sure I'm not missing any abilities. Nope. Cool. Uh, okay. So four, three, six, nine, 13 plus eight. So 21. 21. Yep. So 20 and one. Uh, hitting you on fours, lethal sustain. So that's three lethals. Ugh, spawn. Oh my god. Oh my god, that was... <laughs> went so poorly. Have three back. Yep, getting three back. Uh, strength six, so wounding you on sixes. Mm -hmm. Whoops. Floor dice. Sixes. Not a one. So that'll be three for you at AP one, two damage each. Okie dokie. Three ups. Pass one. Oh. Not dead yet. Not dead. And that's everybody, yeah, that's right? That's everybody. That's everything I had. Sweet. I took 21? They're, they're 22 wounds, right? Uh, took, they're 22. Yeah. I took 21 wounds off a of monolith. I'm okay with that. But not 22. Not 22. All right. So the first thing I'm going to fight back with is Illuminor Zerus. Mm -hmm. He's going to swing into your 2-8 uh, bound that are in with him. Mm -hmm. See if he can't ex extend his range mm -hmm. on his ability. So we're going to go with four attacks, hitting on threes. Mm -hmm. And wounding on threes. Mm -hmm. OK. Mm -hmm. This is taking a turn for the worse. Now we're going to go, oh, uh, his legs as well. Yep. Forgot. That's where you're going to kill a guy. <laughs> Probably not. Uh, they do all hit. Mm -hmm. Strength six, so force. Mm -hmm. One wound, not going to kill a guy. AP one, so this will be a four up. We're good. Cool. And then let's do the portal of exile from Yield Monolith. It will hit one worse. Five, six, twos, uh, going to threes because I am bracketed. Mm -hmm. They all hit. Strength eight. Oh, and we're going to go into um, the same unit of eight Yep. 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 And that should be... Four wounds. Four wounds. Kay. Minus two. So they'll be on their four up from the Demon Prince. So four up. Fail two. Four three two each. each. Three each. Okay. Four legs off three each. Uh, okay. So they're both healthy, so I'm just going to roll uh, this. One of them had two once. on it. Did, oh yes, it did. The dice that's yep. up there on the ruin. Yep, he's got two left. Yeah, I had um, I had one of those that spilled over. Yep, because you so made one of your. Go ahead and roll the first one. This is a uh, six up. He, Make one, but he he's dies. Dead. And then the second guy. Now you don't pass any. Takes one, so you got one left. So the champion is alive with one. Oops. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. I feel pretty good about that. Yeah, not bad. It went well. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I'll score five points on assassinate. Yep. And I believe that is the extent of my turn. Um, I'm going to keep bring it down because if I can't kill a monolith in your turn in combat, I mean, I'll fight before you, but. How uh, will you? Oh, well, yeah, if you charge me. Yeah. Yeah. But I got enough stuff that I think I can still hit you. So I'm oh, feeling yeah, pretty yeah. good. Yeah. yeah, so I'll keep it. Um, so, yeah, we'll go right into your turn. I mean, I can also fall back. Yeah. 
but I don't know that I have enough to like tie you up right. if I fall back. I've got a decent amount around you. It might be difficult for you because it's only got an eight-inch move, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it might be difficult. Yep. So we'll see. Uh, but it does fly, and it's Titanic, so true. True. Uh, it can move over. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. All right. Let's see what we can do. Honestly, I'll probably just try to shoot my way out. That's probably your best. And bet. let and let like shoot everything else, but leave your spawn. Yep. Um. Okay. Let us do what's the next thing? I it'll guess be downies? yeah, it'd be downies. Um we are going to take both of these locust heavy destroyers off. Mm hmm We're gonna take actually all three. All three locust heavy destroyers are gonna come off. Yep. Then we will I don't think Nightbringer wants to. I don't think the, because uh, they can come down there and then shoot. Yeah, that's probably, let me take a look at a couple things here. I'm gonna switch this into top down just to kind of take some assessment and some measurements. So if they come down here, then I could shoot here. If he moves over and clears there, or you know, six inches, not eight inches. So if he goes to there, I'm gonna leave his dice here so we know where he goes back to, mm -hmm. but just to see what my eight inch move does, I don't think I can get out of combat if I go this way. My base is just enough to clear, mm -hmm. but it's still, I think, gonna, gonna be, be within an inch of this unit right here. here. Actually, it's probably be over that guy's base. So if I went this way, I can't. So yeah, I literally cannot fall back out of combat. Okay, that makes my decision-making process a whole lot simpler. So I could bring them, but I can't shoot because we'll be locked in combat. So it's probably best if I say, okay, most of this is going to die, and that's okay. And just kill everything else, and then you have to work the whole game to run back across the board. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's fine. I think that works okay. Because I can teleport him to here. This moves up six, and then... Let's see, six to here. I could probably just advance on. And those can come down and shoot other things. This can advance and teleport into a backfield. Oh, and I'm gonna heal too. Forgot about that. Mm -hmm. I am going to heal as well. Gonna heal for a little bit, yeah. Yeah, okay. I think we have got a decision here. Okay, so I'm gonna take those three okay. off, and then I will probably also take off the Void Dragon. Yeah, it's probably those three and the Void Dragon. I think that's the correct decision, because then the Void Dragon can come in into the middle and potentially kill them and that. And then the transcendence and pain can advance onto that objective. Okay. Yeah, I think that's it. Okay, cool. Uh, so three locust heavy destroyers, uh, individuals, and the void dragon. That's what's coming off. Sounds good. Uh, oh, top of turn. We'll each gain a CP. Mm-hmm. And you'll get two points for primary. <clears throat> you'll go to one. I will go to two. I will go up to 20 for holding my home objective. Um, and I should be at 27. Cause I got oh, assessment. yeah, yeah. You score assessment. Yep. Mm -hmm. Sorry. There we go. All right. Uh, let's do some reanimations. Uh, Transcendence Satan. Kills him. 
Totally good. Back up to full. Mm -hmm. The monolith heals two. Mm -hmm. so up to three. Up to three. And that's it. Okay. Nothing else to do for that. So now we're going to have to do some movement. Okay. All right. So we know where we're going here. Go to top down. Yeah. So Nightbringer's going to move up there. So yeah, Nightbringer moved his six. The Warriors are going to... Are we within... We are. Okay. Uh, Warriors are going to advance. Mm -hmm. One inch. So we're going to move seven. The key here is just getting one guy. Did they move? I thought they moved five. Uh, they probably do move five. So six inches. Six inches. There we go. And then it's going to leave me just outside of 12. Oof. Yeah, I'm so used to the old. Yep. Uh, right. I have to reroll this because I need a two. Mm -hmm. So spin a CP. You're down to one. Four, there you four go. is good. So nine inches will definitely put a guy where he can see to there. Uh, we'll probably just come out this way just to be safe. Put one guy to there. Mm -hmm. Actually, I don't think he can go there. But that is close enough. And then, yeah. Just want to be able to shoot and scoot. Mm -hmm. uh, we're actually going to favor this way. So we can swarm that objective marker, mm -hmm. ideally. There we go. Um, that. <clears throat> we want to advance the transcendence of him, mm -hmm. as we said previously. Mm -hmm. He's going to advance to here. Mm -hmm. End of the phase, this is going to go away. Yep. Uh, no one is in there. I could favor to this side just to be able to see you. And I think it's probably worth doing that. Yeah, I think it's probably worth it. And then over here. We can totally do that. We hand me one of the so uh, reinforcements now. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to send this guy here, and then we're going to send the other two. If you'll hand those to me, please. Mm -hmm. They're going to come in over here. I'm going to have one till on there. Actually, you know what? I might spend my last CP in three inch deep strike with this guy. Mm. And just take that center objective from you. What's his OC? Uh, it's either three or four. Okay. Either it, I mean, it's contested either way because they only have one OC each. Yeah, but uh, I, I'm hoping I can shoot and kill one too. True. Because I can still yes. shoot. Uh, it's four. Okay. Yeah, so you'll take it. Yeah. So I think it does behoove me to do that, to, mm -hmm. to swing primary back my direction. Mm -hmm. So we will spend one CP and three inch deep strike this guy. Yep. Or no, he advanced. He can't. He can't. He advanced. Yep. Yep, sorry. Don't mind me. I'll, I'll be over here figuring my stuff out. Uh, but these two guys are still coming in over mm -hmm. here. And they are outside of nine. Cool. Mm -hmm. uh, so we'll save the three inch deep strike for Void Dragon. Mm-hmm. And Void Dragon, I believe, is OC three as well. Mm -hmm. No, just four. Oh, four. Four also. All right. Yeah. It's a deceiver that's special. Yeah. Uh, I think we can. We hand me that little widget. It's just easier to have something I can drop down and then make the determination. End of phase. That'll go away. So outside of three inches. 
And I'm actually going to favor this way just a little bit mm -hmm. so I can see. So you can shoot a dreadnought. That other dreadnought. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we'll do that. That makes sense. <coughs> cool. Um, I think that is it for my movement Tito. Mm -hmm. uh, do so, you have any overwatches or anything? Oh, yeah. Okay. All the overwatches. Okay. No, I'm, I'm actually not. Um, my question for you, though, is who are you going to deploy teleport homers with? That guy. That's what I thought. Yeah. That's what I thought. Yeah. I've already got uh, behind mm -hmm. more than likely locked up. Yep. But. Oh, uh, did you... So, um, for your monolith, battle shock. Oh, sure. It's fine. He's fine. Totally fine. Totally good. It never matters. <clears throat> You're right. Very, Un very seldom. Until it matters, it never matters. That's why TJ complains about the roll all the time. He's like, why is this useless rule? My, mm -hmm. my whole army shtick with Chaos Knights. Yep. It's like, you get what you get. You got what you got. You, you got deserved you got. it. You, yeah. Definitely TJ deserved it. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. So, that is that, as they say. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to do some shoosting. Mm -hmm. So, I'm not going to declare deploy yet. You're going to wait? Yet. Yep. I'm going to go ahead and fire these two at your fort sure. fiend. The two locust heavy destroyers over there. Yep. From the other side. One lethal. One miss. Oh, and I'm at zero CP. Uh, yes, because you three-inch deep struck. Yep. Yep. There we go. All right. Uh, so one at minus four. Okay. Uh, that'll be on his five up. Nope. So he is at Flat six. six. Okay. That is why I didn't deploy there yet. Mm -hmm. Because In case I wanted didn't to kill him. see what was going to happen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So now the question is, because if I do a deploy teleport homer with the monolith, then, yeah. Um, let's see. Okay. So I guess the monolith will have to dedicate some shooting there, potentially. Because there it doesn't have a pistol. Does not. Mm -hmm. Confirmed. Um, okay, let's move to the next thing that's, mm -hmm. that's easier than what we've been doing. Let's go ahead and fire with the Void Dragon. Okay. Uh, Void Dragon is going to send his Voltaic Storm mm -hmm. into the 8-bound. Actually, let's do the Transcendent first because the Transcendent only has one target. Yep. Which is those guys. Yep. So let's do Seismic Assault. Mm -hmm. Six shots. Uh, and it is assault because it advanced. Sure. Uh, so it's going to hit on twos. Mm -hmm. Look at the sixes. So everything hits, mm -hmm. and I get a sustain. Mm -hmm. Sustain hits one. Yep. So there's that. Now, strength eight, so mm -hmm. I'm going to need threes. Okay. That many at minus two. And uh, you do get cover. Cover, so four so, ups. Yep. Yeesh. All right. D3 each. Yep. So first one is two. two. Okay. So that kills a guy. Or no, I got to roll it because uh, you have to feel no pains, right? Uh, yeah, you got to you gotta roll it. Oh, come on. In the box. Two so that's one. three. Okay. So, well, just roll them all and then. Okay. Because I'll roll the feel no pains. Okay. So we had. Then three. Two. And three. And then one. So it should be nine. Three and three. Yep. Okay. So I'll do the. Two and the one on the first guy. Whoop. Six up. Nope. So that guy did that guy's dead. And then second guy is dead. Third guy is dead. All right. Sweet. Awesome. That went so well. Yeah, I like it. That was perfect. Oh, uh, okay. Well that's an asset. Super, gone. super glad I thought to do that first. Yeah. Uh, now we are going to go with the Void Dragon, mm -hmm. and it's now going to dedicate all of its shots, because it can, into this closest duder. Sure. So let's do the spear first. Mm -hmm. Hits on a 2+. plus. Yes. Mm -hmm. Wounds on a 2+, plus because anti-vehicle 2+. plus. Mm -hmm. Yes. Minus 3. So minus 2, so a 4 up. Yep. Made it. You're good. And then the uh, storm is going to be d6 plus 3. 
So eight. Mm -hmm. Hitting on twos. Let's see a six. Oh, two sixes. So plus two, four. This one falls out, but plus four more. Mm -hmm. For sustained hits, two. Mm -hmm. uh, seven to higher than a seven, Nine. so fives. How about one? Okay. <laughs> Man, if I roll a boatload of dice, I don't get any fives or sixes. AP? AP one. So, so yeah, two normal two up. Yeah. We're good. All right, cool. All right, uh, I'm going to shoot your monolith. Yeah. And then you know, I'll put the heavy flamer into the void dragon just for funsies. Okay. Hits the monolith. Uh huh. Twin links. Yes, wounds the monolith. That'll be AP, I think. This guy can still see him fully, so AP3. I think I goes through. Okay. D6 plus one. Five. I think I okay. kill you. Yeah, yeah. See if I blow. Nope. Okay. So that'll be some bring it downs you points for me. Uh, then we're gonna go with boy or uh, Nightbringer. I should have oh, shot. I should have shot with him first. That the heavy stupid. flamer into the boy dragon. Five shots. Oh, oh from here from to there. Him. Yep. Oh, okay. Twelve inches. Sixes. I assume. Yeah. Nothing. Okay. Cool. Totally worth it. Always uh, roll. D three shots into this closest one. Mm -hmm. This is three. In the bucket. There we go. Mm -hmm. I'll hit. Threes. Maybe a wound? Yes, one wound minus two. Uh, three up. Nope. D6 plus three. Nine. So he's dead. Sweet. Does he blow up? No. That was good. Uh, do you want to rethink that? Rethink what? They won't have a target. Okay. Nope, I'm fine with it. Okay. But yeah. I'm, I need to be punished because I was stupid with my monolith. And let you kill it before I shot it. Mm -hmm. I should have shot the monolith first. Mm -hmm. So it's my own it's my own stupid fault. Um Okay. Now let's go with I think that's it. Other than I think charges. Um, I guess we'll deploy there. Okay. So you're s deploying for the four. You're s well. We'll have to see if Zaris survives. He probably will. But that's the hope. Mm -hmm. He probably won't actually. But uh, with that, I like, I like where your head's at. He's got a four up. Four up. Four up. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. Um, okay, cool. Let's charge. Mm -hmm. um, can oh yeah, Come on, Nightbringer. Uh, cannot make it around. Cool. We'll attempt three inch deep strike. Oh, yeah, yeah, can. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Um, so no charges anywhere. Mm -hmm. Sweet. Love it. Um, I can tell I haven't played my neck rounds in a while. It's been a bit. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Plus, I've been on an uncanny losing streak, so. Yeah. Um, I don't think I've won a game in over a month. Oof. <laughs> I've, it's been pretty rough for me. Yeah. That game that Jameson gave me last night, that was very much still up in the air. Yeah. He gave that up too quick. Yeah. Um, so I think it's just ongoing. Um, yep. So mm -hmm. my Exalted 8 bound into Zeris. Mm -hmm. Hitting on threes. Uh, one lethal, one sustain. So pick this up and wounding you on threes, twin links. Mm -hmm. right. What's her strength? Uh, 14. Oh, the Exalted 8 bound. Yep, okay. Exalted 8 bound. So that's five for you at AP3, two damage each. Okay. I think he's got the four up, four up. Yep. Four up pinballs. Oh, you're fine. And then how many damage? Two. Uh, two, four up, feel no pains. Takes Take one. one damage. Yeah. Yeah. Seems about right. Yeah. Seems about right. Yeah. He is down to eight. Okay. So. I'm um, sliding that up to him. Uh, my attack's back. Yes, you get to attack back, of course. Uh, see if I can actually do anything this turn with him. Mm -hmm. So threes to hit. 
I do hit three times, which is impressive. Mm -hmm. And then threes to wound. Three wounds at minus three. Four ups, because the Demon Prince, he is very dead. Kill two. Uh, it's two each, right? Or Flat three. Three each. Yeah, he, there's only the one in the spot. Oh, there's only one so guy left. Okay. On the off chance that I roll all the sixes. Sure. You don't. I rolled a couple. I rolled it enough to be impressive. Uh -huh. All right, so he's dead. And also enough to still be dead. Yes, very yep. dead. Yep. So dead. That's all I care about. Yep. Okay, so um, we're looking at end of your turn. You will score your full secondary. Yep, for eight so more. four on deploy, because he deployed. Four on, uh, what are these for? It doesn't matter. Um, so you'll get eight. So that'll bring you up to 28. Yep. I will score six on bring it down, because I killed the monolith, bringing me up to 33. Cool. Very cool. Very interesting. Very fun. Alright, so uh, top of, top of three. three. Yep. I'll go up to two CP, you'll go up to one. Yep. Secondaries, I will draw area denial. Interesting. And storm hostile. It's actually what I was thinking of doing. Very interested in this. So let's see what we can see. I don't owe you any battle shocks because nobody's below half. Mm -hmm. um, I am going to roll my blood Yahtzee mm -hmm. and hope for a good result. I'm okay with this result. Four fives? Five fives. Five fives. I am okay with this result. That's that's really, that's what I wanted. Um, I'm going to take lethal hits and advance and charge. Okay. So, because that is exactly what I wanted this turn. So area denial and storm hostile. Okay. Let's do this. Let's do this. Okay. Yeah, moving on into the movement phase. You got it. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So, first things first, my big six-man brick of eight-bound is going to advance mm -hmm. five inches. So yep. they've got all the movement. Uh, that'll get them 14. So they'll just come right up here. Make that unfailable. And I've got two CP, so we're feeling good. Oh, I also scored um, seven points on primary. Oh yeah, for two for your home and two for home the and one, one for the one in one in no man's. Yep. So taking me up to forty. Yep. And then and then <coughs> let's see. No and then. So eighteen. So nine. So fifteen inches gets them up to there. Uh, I'm gonna spend a seat. On a flat six inch advance. Okay. So I'm down to one on Invocatus and his unit. So they're going to move their 15 inches. And they're going to get up to here ish. Here these. Yep. Okay. And Invo moves 12. So he gets 19 inches. But he has to go around the building because he's a mounted boy. So he's going to end up right up here. Ah, ah, ah. There we go. Got it. Okay. Um, the demon prince is just going to come over here. And then spawn. I'm going to advance one spawn unit. Get a six, so they're moving 14. Get them back onto my objective. Actually, I should really measure that. Yeah. Yep. Get them back onto my objective. And then these boys will just come over here, get closer to Invo. He is going to move. How far do they move? I should know this by now. Forge fiends move eight. Okay. That's less useful, but 
eight inches is good enough. I am so tempted. Yeah, yeah. I am so. Right? I am so <laughs> right? tempted. It would be so good. It, it would be so good. It for sure could be. Because a hit is a wound. And so it hits a wound, man, and it would kill it. It could kill him. Could totally. They have a demon him. save. A five. They up? have a five up. Okay. Yep, they have a five up. Okay, so. All right, so, um, I think that is movement. Okay. So I think we're good to go back to shooting or move on into shooting. I should say. Okay. Actually, if I was going to Overwatch with anything, it'd probably be the. Uh, the boy dragon. Yeah. Yeah. It'd probably be sure probably volume. Be boy dragon. Yep, the volume of shots. Okay, so. Which is probably a good idea. Oh, I forgot this guy. Um, I think I will do that. Okay, so you're going to yeah. spend your CP? Yeah. Okay, so you're out. And you're gonna I, don't, I, don't, I don't need the one for anything else. Yep. So, Especially now the monolith's gone. Like Most of my, most of the CP in this list yep. are, are monolith-centric. So. Mm -hmm. so yeah, let's go with... And Overwatch, especially since I want to get blast on them too. So from the Voltaic Storm. Mm -hmm. All right, so spear. Nope. Voltaic Storm number of shots. Nine. Plus ten. One. Yep. Like where this started. Mm -hmm. Whoop. All right. Uh, sixes. There's two, and their sustained hits two each, mm -hmm. so they're going to add six total. four more. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to uh, strength seven to T6, so mm -hmm. we'll be on threes. Pow, four. take that. AP Minus one. one. So four ups. Uh, nothing, AP nothing, because of yeah. cover. Yeah, so three ups, cover. so yep. we're good. All right. Okay. Okay. Just hoping I can get, like, one of them. Right. Um, so he's actually going to stay where he is, and he thinks. Okay. Because, well, well, no, you know what? I'm going to advance him. Two. So he's moving eight inches. So he'll come over here. He's going to, he, he wants to get involved. Okay. He, he was a good boy. He held the objective. He shot a monolith. He wants another kill. Okay. He can feel it in his bones. The crippled, ruined bones that remain. Okay. All right. Uh, shooting. So I'm going to take uh, what the little shooting I've got. The demon prince is going to shoot Zara's. Okay. Three shots. One hits. Uh, needing a five because it's strength five. Wounds, AP one. Uh, two up goes to a three up. Okay, you're fine. Yep, totally fine. Um, three. I feel good. I feel fine. It's fine. You're fine. Yeah. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. Uh, three d six shots into the big warrior blob. So three d six plus twelve again. Uh, three d three. Three d three. I am sorry. Thank you. So three five seven plus twelve nineteen. Okay, hitting on threes. About eight misses, so I got 11 hits, wounding you on twos. Uh, two misses there, so that'll be nine wounds, I guess, AP three. Uh, I do have cover? Yep. All right. Uh, I should have enough cover just from these guys, from yeah. the two ruins. Oh, yeah, definitely. That I can roll all Most of them. definitely. So, save two. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four... Five, six, seven. Seven mm -hmm. down. Okay, cool. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. Cool. Feeling boop, good boop. about that. Boop. Um, that is my Schusting. Okay. The Schusting Phasm is over. So what we're going to do is go on into charges. Okie doke. The gimme's first. Spawn into Zeras. We make it with a ten. Demon Prince into Zeras. We make it with a three. Mm -hmm. So we'll just badoosh. Uh, and then just did it that way so that there's no way you can run away from me with sure. your battle shock without yeah. passing over my base. Yeah. Um, then we're going to do Hellbrute 
into the uh, Void Dragon. Okay. Gets it with an 11. So he's just going to come this way to make sure he doesn't block anybody. Um, Invocatus and his squad. Mm -hmm. Get a 7. I think that does it. Yep. Just in. And then I'm just going to put these guys up here so we can see them, and it's easy. But they'd be in base with Invo. And then the Exalted 8-bound. No fail, they made it. Mm -hmm. Same thing, just we're in base with you. Just put them on top, because it's easier than dealing with the thing. Okay, um, and then Forge Fiend into your guy. I'm shocked. Mm -hmm. Rawr! That's the sound he makes. Yeah. Rawr! Yeah, yeah. yep. Totally. Right. Okay, so uh, first combat, I'm going to pick the Exalted 8-bound. Uh, I'm going to take plus one to wound against characters, monsters, or vehicles. Cool. And you are out of CP now? I am out of CP. Perfect. So the uh, champion. You spent the other one on the auto advance six, yes, right? I yeah, yeah. Yes, I hadn't marked I it yet. So. Yep. So the exalted the champion misses a couple of times, but gets a lethal. And then wounding you on twos. All right, so three wounds at AP3. Okay, one, two damage each, so down to one. Okay, feel my pain. I take one. Okay, and then we've got four, I'm sorry, so 20 regular dudes attacking. All right, threes. He's at 11. Mm -hmm. So I got two lethals, mm -hmm. and then the rest of these are wounding you on twos. Uh, Rerolling ones to wound because the eight bound, the regular eight bound are within six. Um, so two rerolls. Yep, two rerolls. Okay, so that many. AP. AP. M oh, AP four. Yeah. AP three. Sorry. Uh, yes. Four. Damage two. Mm -hmm. Okay. So down to one, and these are no pains. Pass three of those, take four. Mm -hmm. Cool. Okay. So that's that squad. Mm -hmm. uh, now I'm going to do the Hellbrute with his fist. So he'll this get... This is the last of it? No, I've still got Invo in his unit. Oh, okay. They're going to be less dangerous. Yeah. So we'll see. Um... So the Hellbrute Fist, hitting you on threes, uh, two misses, and wounding you on threes. Threes. Yes. Strength roll. No reroll. Well, reroll ones. So that'll be four at AP two, three damage. Four ups. Not bad. What was the damage? Two, three damage each. All right. So down to two. Mm hmm Feel my pains. Okay. Take two. Take two. Okay. And then it'll be Invo. And his squad into you. Mm -hmm. Coward's Bane, looking at eight attacks. Twos. And I uh, got two lethals, so that's good. And then these will need fives. So there's strength seven. Nothing there. So two lethals, AP two, two damage each. There you go. So you're fine. And then the Bladed Horn. One lethal, and looking for fives again. Uh, yeah, fives. So three at AP one, two damage. You're good. You're very Feel good. Okay. Good. Uh, oh, they just have the four. I rolled up. a three. Just have a four up. For some reason, I thought they had the two up. No, no, no. Yep. So he's fine there. Yep. Okay. And then, and then, uh, we've got four, seven, eight, nine. This is now the <coughs> eight bound squad. Okay. The the three man. Yes. With them, we got us. Yeah. Yep. So we got one lethal with the heavy chain blade, and these will need fives to wound you. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. So two. So two at AP. It, you have a four up in. Four up in. Why am I bothering? Okay. One damage. damage. Damage two down to one. No, just one. Oh, okay. This so, one's just uh, one. Feel no pain. Mm -hmm. Make it. Yep. 
All right, and then we've got the three dudes with their seven attacks each. Six attacks on the charge. Six attacks plus one on the charge. Sorry, yeah. you, look, you look like you were confused. <laughs> no, All right, no. hitting on threes. Couple of lethals. What were the other attacks you just rolled? Invocados. Oh, that was the the heavy. The champion has a heavy chain glaive. Okay. It gets so this attacks. is the other two this guys. This is the other two guys. Okay. Yep. All right. So two lethals, and then strength six on the charge. So looking for fives to wound you. Uh, that's going to be four. Eight. Yep. Two damage each. Down to one. Mm hmm. Down to pains. Mm hmm. So that'll take two more. Down mm -hmm. to three. You know what they don't do? Rack it. Mm hmm. Okay. Very much so. Okay. Your charge attacks back there? Yep. So we've got the Demon Prince. Gonna activate him first. His strike. He'll get seven attacks. Hitting on two. Everything hits. No mm -hmm. lethals. Mm -hmm. And strength 10, so threes. Uh, that's two dev wounds and four saves on at AP2. Okay. Four up in bowls. Mm -hmm. Make them all. Mm -hmm. And then dev wounds. Uh, yep. One one each. Uh, three each. Three each. Mm -hmm. Okay. So three, four, five, six. These are four up feeling pains. Make them all. Oh my god. <laughs> Suck it. Jump. I will. <laughs> I guess I will. Uh, all right. And then uh, spawn, two d six plus two each? two, so yeah. four, so two d six plus four, so ten, fourteen. 14. Nice. Uh, hitting you on four. Couple of lethals. Oof, my goof. Yeah, they they don't yeah. perform. Fours are always rough. And then uh, fives, nothing. So two at AP one. So two goes with three. Mm -hmm. Four up, feeling pain. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, seems about average. Okay. Yeah, seems about average. Zerus is a beast. He is. All right, so let's go ahead and fight. You've you're all fought across, right? Uh, yeah. So right. so I'm gonna go ahead and fight with uh, Zerus real quick in the back corner. Only thing I'm gonna do. Let's is... fight against the only thing that can do anything to me. I think. Yep. Which is the, the uh, prince. Prince, and he's down to seven. Yep. All right. Uh, twos don't hit. No lethals. Uh, nine to nine. Um, he'll come over here. Uh, T10. Actually. Okay, so fives and sixes. Yep. Uh, that is one at minus three. Okay, so four up. Nope. Take flat three. Uh, halves it to two, so he is down okay. to five. And then I've got impaling legs. Four attacks from that. They all hit, of course. And uh, these will need fives and sixes. One minus one. Okay, three up. We're good. Cool. Okay, ten to five. Okay. Oh, I still have I have the forge fiend. Yeah, yeah. Totally forgot about that. Well, I think we I think we both did. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting. He's yeah. got this. Yeah. Uh, so he has he forge might. fiend claws, four attacks, hitting on threes with a lethal, and then strength six, so okay. fours. Two wounds, AP nothing. Three ups. What's the damage? Take uh, one. I'm sorry. It, it takes, takes a wound. He takes a wound. It takes a wound, singular. <laughs> Three left on that guy. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, he's going to heal it too. Yeah. Cool. So. Boy dragon? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think we're going to do big attacks. Mm hmm. So I'm hitting you on twos, wounding you on twos because mm -hmm. you're T6. So let's go into your. They are D6 plus two. Ooh. It's probably better if I go into your six man. Twos probably. and twos, minus three puts you on sixes. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, I have a, I have a five up in bolts. I think it's still probably better. Uh, uh, you know what? Let's actually go into Invocatus's unit. Uh, so, so everybody but the Dreadnought has a five up in bolt. That's fine. Just to make sure. Yeah, I think you know. I think let's go into Invocatus's unit. Okay. Um, I, I want to leave the Dreadnought alone because I want the Void Dragon and the Warriors to be able to shoot into it. Yes. So well, 
keep in mind, I can still then shoot because I am a vehicle in combat. Sure. Just so you know. Yeah. Like, I'm fine with it. Um, it. It got your monolith killed. I just wanted to yeah, make yeah. sure it's up front of yeah, mind. Totally fine. So yeah, let's shoot there. Or, or fight there. Okay. Uh, into Invocatus' unit. Into uh, Invocatus. All hit. Okay. Uh, no sustained. Mm -hmm. And then twos to wound. Mm -hmm. so four, four saves minus three. Okay. So um, in on the squad. Rolling three at a time. Yep. yep. So five ups. So I lose two. Uh, yeah, they are D6 plus two yeah. each. Yeah. Through, uh, I don't have a feel, no pain. And then the, on the last guy again, he's fine. Okay. So I lost two guys. Yep. And then you've got... Blade and I've got tails. tails. Yep. I'll take the champion and that guy. So hit on twos. This was one. And these are going to wound on fours. Uh, in the tray, please. One at minus one. Okay. Uh, three, uh, four up. We're fine. Cool. Um, so, oh, uh, Zeris, pop back. Do you want to? I, no. <laughs> I didn't think so. Here. I miss. <laughs> there we go. Um, okay, so uh, I believe since you're only OC four, my dreadnought is four is three. I've got two eight bound in Invocatus, so I I, I out OC you on the center. So I will score storm hostile, mm -hmm. but not area denial because you're within three. Because I'm within three of the center. Yep. yep. So I'll get five, and I'm gonna actually bin area denial. Okay. For CP. Because. Yeah, because even though I might, at the, it's at the end of my turn. So Storm Hostile, you scored five? Yep. 45, got you back up to one CP. You're going to mm -hmm. go to two, though, at the top of mine. I'll go to one at the top of mine. No, because I spent both my CP in the turn. Yeah, but you're gaining one now, and then you'll gain one on my turn. Oh, yes, you're right, you're right, yep. Yep, so I'm at two. Uh, but I still have to pick up before we get too far. Right. So I'm definitely picking up the two Locust Heavy Destroyers. Mm-hmm. 100% they are going up and I think everything else I'm going to be okay with leaving leaving yeah because um, I think that will be that uh, and then I'll control that and sticky it because mm -hmm. then I can send him into the center as well mm -hmm. yeah and the three satans I think will clean that up most likely. Rather nicely. Yep. Most likely. Yep. Um, and I had wounds on Zerus, right? No, you didn't take any. Oh, that's right. I didn't take any. And I healed the one back I took the previous turn. Yeah. 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 Yep. Okay. Cool. And you'll heal that one, too. Yeah, I'll heal that one, too. Um, so I think that's all I'm going to pick up is that. Okay. Though... Though, if I wanted to help Zerus out, because his his he's killed a model in combat, so mm -hmm. his aura is at six inches now. Yep. I could potentially s pick up the warrior squad, mm -hmm. send them back there, mm -hmm. and help finish off that demon prince, and then just leave Zerus in combat with the spawn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because they're not going to take him. Huh. Oh, I also need to think about what's going to deploy a teleport homer. Yeah. That was, but I do, but I do have these two to do. That, that was the main reason why I charged him in was because I wanted to tie up your so resources I, I, there. I will actually. I'm not worried about this single objective here. So I am going to okay. pick up these three units, and okay. then that'll be that. Okay. And then we'll see if just the one can kill your um, forge fiend. Forge fiend. Yeah. Okay. Yep. That's it. Okay. Cool. All right. Uh, so yep. So you'll so, score seven on primary. Correct, yes. One in No Man's Land and mm -hmm. my home objective. So I will go up to 35. All right. And let's go top down for some movement. Okay. So thought process here is I'm going to take your home objective. Uh, you're going to have to... Oh, they're spawned there. Three, yeah. Oh, yep. Okay. Okay. Forgot those two existed. So I guess instead of taking the home objective, because I'm not going to get it, I'll okay. just come out nine inches away here. Uh, I might have to put both of them over here, actually, just to deploy the outside of nine. Yep. So that's what we'll do. I'll split the difference there like that. 
make sure that we are good. There's not going to be any cover kubicat. One will deploy, one will shoot. Uh, I will fall back in my movement phase here. I'm just kind of measuring some things out mm -hmm. for them while I'm doing my other moves here. Mm -hmm. This guy's going to fall back. Mm -hmm. Zeris is staying in. Uh, this is sticky now for Necrons. Transcendence is going to move up six inches to here. Uh, move up six inches to here. Um, oh, I've got a heal D3 on my Void Dragon. Mm -hmm. Three for three, nice. back up to six. And then the warrior squad has to come down. Uh, I will spend my one CP here to okay. uh, be outside of three inches. Okay. So I can be within six of Zerus. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Oh, and I have to heal back into this squad too. That's uh, why. I, nope, because they're in hyper crits. Oh, that's right. I'd have to spend a CP to do mm -hmm. it. That's fine. I think I'm okay with it. Yeah, they'll be fine. And can I see the tape measure? Yes, just sir. For, just to make sure that I am within six. Yeah, okay. Cool. Unit is within six. Everyone is outside of three. Awesome. Okay. Um, and then uh, I do need to mark this with a sticky because if I don't, I'll forget. Mm -hmm. uh, that's still there. Oh, it is. I panicked. I thought you stole it from me. Or it's still there. Yeah. Yep. Nope, I have not. So Necrons, hold that one. Still hold the home. Okay, I think that's it for movement. Mm -hmm. I brought in the two heavy destroyers in that back corner. One will shoot there. The other one will deploy a mm -hmm. teleport homer to keep my points going on that. And it'll make sure that I have all my... And I spent my one CP. Mm -hmm. for the three inch deep strike on the warrior squad cool all right and Zaris isn't falling back right cool. nope I, you're a monster so i can shoot into combat with you yep so um and i'm fine with being minus one because i'm just looking for fives and sixes oh yeah play. okay uh, how many do i have left in that Warrior I squad. See two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen. Okay, cool. So twenty-six shots. Mm -hmm. All right. So shooting. Let's go ahead and do that. Can I borrow one dice? Because I need twenty-six. I want that. I want that specific one back. Okay. I I, I remember which one it is. Yep. <laughs> twenty-six shots. Yep. Looking for fives and sixes because mm -hmm. we lethal on fives and sixes. Some lethals. Wait, I thought the Chronomancer was just move, shoot, move. Oh, yeah, it is. I'm sorry. So six is lethals, sixes are lethals. Yep, and yep. then I need fives to hit because I'm minus one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're thinking of the Plasmancer. And then this is to wound. Okay, so six, six at minus two. Minus two on his four Because up. of Zerus. Yep, four ups. I will take two. Yeah, you will. Down to yeah, three. Yep, yeah, baby. That means a Zera shot can kill you. It could. Oh, hey, I found that. I found that one dice I borrowed. That's the one. There you go. I that, knew that was. Yeah, that's yeah, exactly the out. one. It jumped out. Uh, and then the Chronomancer is also going to shoot at you. Mm -hmm. Because I have the shots. Why not? Yeah. Absolutely. May as well. You got to do something this game. Uh, Stave. Uh, oh, it has blast. I can't. Oh, really? Yeah. Huh. Yep. Yep. Awesome. I'm so, okay with this. I, I would assume. Mm -hmm. uh, and then after I shoot, I think I will move back a little bit. Okay. Just because of the fact that um, I don't want you to consolidate into me. Mm -hmm. So 
don't think that's going to be an issue. I, I don't think so either, but Zaris just is, in case. Zaris is a tough boy. Yeah, I, I agree. I think I, still, would have, I think I would have needed to put a full, like the three man exalted into him to, to really like knock him Try out. to chew through? Yeah. yeah. And, well, and if I made two. four up, four ups like I did, right? Like it also so just sweet. doesn't matter. Yeah. Yep. Um, all right. So now Nightbringer mm -hmm. is going to shoot. Yep. Actually, you know what? Uh, let's do the Void Dragon first. Okay. Because the Void Dragon is mass dangerous. Mm hmm. To your vehicle. Mm -hmm. um, mm, I got the facility to hit an R3. I just don't even know if I need to shoot your vehicle. I probably don't. But that's the only thing I can shoot. Let's think about that for a second. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm going to go ahead and fire one of these guys here. Yep. One of three. Nope. I'm out of CP. Can't reroll. Mm -hmm. uh, that's that, as they say. Unfortunately. Okay. Now, to shoot at your guy or not to shoot at your guy? That is the question. I think we're shooting at your guy. Okay. Uh, Spear of the Void Dragon. Mm -hmm. uh, this is... Does not hit because I'm minus one. Okay. So. And then Voltaic Storm. Uh, uh, I can't shoot because it has blast. So my Hellbrute's going to shoot your Void Dragon. Yep. Hitting on a four. Mm -hmm. Nope. You have a Flamer as well? Yeah, why not? Does it have blast? Uh, no, it's just Flamer. Okay. <laughs> Every time. It's only like one shot with it. Uh, I don't wound you. All right, I'm just going to throw them around. Strength have a party. five? No, yeah, strength five. Nothing. Yep, so nothing. Okay, cool. Uh, Void Dragon will go to the same target. You mean the Nightbringer? Or Nightbringer, yeah. One shot. Mm -hmm. Does nothing. Shooting the Void Dragon again. Yep. Hits. No. Three wounds on your invul. Yep, you're fine. Heavy flamer because. <laughs> One shot. Nothing. Cool. And then my Transcendent Satan is going to shoot mm -hmm. as well. Uh, two, three, four, five, six. Same target. Mm -hmm. Twos. Three. Uh, one. Uh, yeah. One sustained. Yep. Mm -hmm. So that stays back in. Uh, fives and sixes, because mm -hmm. only strength eight. So two at minus two. Mm -hmm. No cover. Yep. Four ups. Made them both. Okay. Shooting your, your, your satan again. Missed. Cool. Uh, let's... What's all my shooting? Charges. Uh, charges, yeah. Okay. Uh, Transcendent satan, I think, is going to... We'll go top down just so I can show some measurements here. Mm -hmm. So Transcendent satan has a... A four to there, and a six to there. Mm -hmm. And then Nightbringer is a eight. Yeah, it's an eight. It's an eight for sure. Yeah, I call that an eight. So let's go ahead and roll a Nightbringer first. Mm -hmm. Really like to make this one uh, just into your duders, yep. not in your vehicle. Nope, no, no CP to reroll. Um, now let's go with the transcendent transcendent. Mm -hmm. Uh, let's just go into your closest guy. Okay. Your invocatus. Made it. We totally made it. Totally made it. Made it for days. Uh, 10 inches. We are going to get right up here, but outside of an inch of your other guy. Cause I did not declare him. Cool. 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 I think that's all my charges. Okay. Um, you know what? Let's actually try for a nine into your <laughs> into your guy. Bring it. Yeah. No. Oh. All right. Should I overwatch it? No. I'm going to. Uh, that's it. Okay. Transcendent into this invo. turn has not gone according to plan. No, it did other not. than other than scoring points. Yes. Uh, taking my eight. That's really all that's gone well. Yep. Okay. Uh, fighting. Mm -hmm. Let's fight with the Satan first. Mm -hmm. And you only have one eight bound left in that unit? Yep. Okay. One eight bound and invo. Okay. So here comes eight attacks. Mm -hmm. 
hitting on twos. Mm -hmm. uh, do you have sustain hits one? So I'm going to add one there and one here. Mm -hmm. These are strength nine. So I'm going to wound you on threes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's five at minus three. So and these are D6 damage, so you'll probably want to do them one at a time. Yeah, so um, on the eight bound. Nope. Damage? D6. He's alive with one. Uh huh. Eight bound. Nope. Oh. Get, get in there. He's Four. dead. All right. So we'll just pop him out. Come on. Oh, no. Oh, this is. All right. We'll just get him later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Invocatus. Fail two. Invocatus is dead. Sweet. You murdered him. You murdered my boy. The unicorn. And then we are going to pile into, into your, the boy. Yeah, the big boy. Dread. The yep. brute of hell. Okay. Uh, now you get one. Okay, so first on going, I'm going to do the Exalted 8 bound. Okay. I'm going to spend one for plus one to wound against monsters and vehicles. Yep. So five attacks with the champion. Hits you three of the times with two lethals, wounding you on a two. That's three wounds on your invuln. Into? Into the, uh, the Void Dragon? Void Dragon. Okay. It's the only one they can hit. Okay. One damage after you're having. Yep. Five ups, feel no pains, take two, down okay. to four. So I've got, I still have six dudes, so 15 attacks with the remainder. Threes. One lethal. Uh, no rerolls anymore because you killed my eight bound, mm -hmm. like a dirty, mean man. Twos. Why so are they twos? Because I have plus one to wound, uh -huh. strength 14. Okay. Cool. So that'll be eight, seven. Fours. Fail three. Mm -hmm. uh, two damage each, right? Yep. Down so to down one. to one. So you can't kill me. Can't kill you. It's perfect. That's all I needed to hear. Okay. Down so to you're two. Down to two. All right. And my attacks. Yep. You get two attack back. I'm going to go into your dread. Yep. Makes sense. Yeah. Makes your, sense. Your other guys have already fought, so I don't care about them anymore. Yep. So into the dread. And I think we're just going to do the big attacks because I think that's what makes the most sense. Yeah. So, hitting on twos. All mm -hmm. hit. Uh, Anti-vehicle two plus. Winning on twos. Yeah. That many minus three, so you'll be on fives. Five ups. Fail two. It is D6 plus two each. Yep, that makes sense. So, 2D6 plus four. He's dead. Yep, that is ten. Does he explode? No. Thank God. He did his job. I feel oh, yeah. pretty happy with yeah, him he this did. game. He did phenomenal. Yep. Um, so next on going, uh, I will do Demon Prince into Inv or into Saris. Saris. Yep. So six attacks, twos. Uh, that wasn't great. Uh, A lethal and uh, threes. Three wounds. Um, on your involve. Four up, yeah. Okay, three damage each. Six mil of eight. Mm -hmm. I fail two. Take two. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's something. Uh, your next activation, sir. I am down to 70. Mm -hmm. A five and a two, mm -hmm. just for you. Uh, let's go with Zerus, because he's the only one. Uh, we're going to go four attacks. Hang on threes uh, into your prince. Yeah. Try to try to get him out. Hey. Oh, nice. They all hit. This is a great start. I probably just ruined it by saying that out loud. You probably did. Yeah, probably. Uh, when are you on fives and Five. sixes? Nothing so far. Still nothing. Mm -hmm. All right, impaling legs. Four attacks, hitting on threes. They all hit. Where's those on my wound rolls? Fives and sixes. Oh, right here they are. Yeah, minus one. I mean, this could do it. So two goes to three? Yeah, yeah. this could very well do it. <laughs> he did it. You got a CP. I got a CP, I have to. I have to, CP. 
He's still there. Get out of here. He's still dead. Deadly demise. Boom. Please blow up. Boom. Yes. Oh, he blows up. <laughs> How uh, many? On my spawn. They take two. All right. On Zarez. He takes three. Well, he's got a feel of it. Yeah, boy. He's, got, he's, not, gonna, he's, he's not taking anything. He's not going to take a thing. Right in the microphone. Four. Oh, damn. He took two. <laughs> he took right. two. It's down to five. Down to five. I love it. I love it. All right. Hey, do me a favor. Uh-huh. Get that demon prince off here. Get, get him right out. Yeah. Just yeeted him. Ah, oh, poor boys. All right. So my spawn, uh, 2d6 plus four. 14 again. Jeez. Watch me roll abysmally. I mean, one can hope. I'm hoping. Yes. Fours. Not great. Oh, my God. That's terrible. Every Here, let time. me just delete this for you. Yeah. So yeah. two lethals. I'll help. And fives. See? I can be helpful. Yeah. Two AP one. Threes. Two damage. Four up. Feel no pains. I make them both. Yeah, of course you did. Yeah. Of course you did. Yeah, of course I did. All right. Um, I think that's your turn. Yeah. I think that's it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm super glad I moved back, too, because then I didn't take the mortals from the Dead yeah. Dead Alive. Yeah. Take it. That's very good. So What a bloody game this has been. It's been, yeah. I'm honestly surprised I've done as well as I have, but I think I'm going to start running out of steam here pretty quick. With three units left, yes, I would say, probably. Four. I've got a unit of spawn. Oh, uh, I keep forgetting about those two spawns. Right? Like, the most important yeah. unit in the game. Yeah, yeah. All right. So, um, oh, yes, he's got six, and then a guy there is at two, because they have four wounds apiece. Um, yeah, okay. So, top of my turn, turn four. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'll go up to two C. Uh, I'm out of CP because I CP rerolled, so I'll go to yep. one. Yep. You go to one. I also go to one. Yep. And then for secondaries, I get. Oh, and I scored eight. I get cleanse. So I went to 43. Okay. And no prisoners. And then primary, you're going to score seven? Seven again, yep. So 52. Cleanse and no prisoners. Oof. Well, you know what I'm going to do? As soon as you move that Forge Fiend, I'm overwatching. I'm not going to move him. I'm going to split fire to victory. Fair. I'm going to split fire to victory <laughs> and try to score and try to max out no prisoners. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> um, not only will I allow it, it's, it's, it's a good call. It is. Yeah. It's like the only call there is. Yeah. Because um, I just, yeah, I don't have anything else. Um, I'm out of steam. I can't move anybody that's else. That's my wound. Oh, that's your wound. On, yes. on two. Yep. Ah, I can't believe he's down um, to two. Void Dragon. All right. So you know what two isn't? Dead. Yep. Yeah. Two is not dead. And I don't yeah. have anything that can do it is the problem. Oh, that's gone because they're dead. Um, okay. So uh, do, does the spawn heals one wound, so he's up to three. And my blessings, my bloody Yahtzee. Let's see. Three fours. Three fours. And two twos. And a double, yes. Yeah. That's three fours and two twos. I'm going to go with the feel no pain and lethal hits again. Or, er, no, I can't lethal hits because you need double fives. fives. Yep. You could four plus fight on death. I'm going to four plus which fight is on death. Probably worth it there. Yes, I am definitely going to four plus fight I'm gonna, on death. I'm going to swing before you do. And I am going to feel no pain. I mean, you might feel some pain. I'm going to feel a lot of pain. I'm going to feel all of the pain. Um, I'm actually surprised this is the first time I'm really going to use it this game. Um, okay. So, I can't do nothing. I ain't got no pistols. I don't control no objectives. Um, so, yeah, Forge Fiend is going to split fire to victory. One gun into each of them. Okay. <laughs> because, so, go big. D3, D3, D3. D3, D3, D3. You got it. So, into the first guy, I get two shots. Second guy, I get three shots. Mm. Third guy, I get two shots. Okay. Couldn't All roll right. a one in there anyway. Couldn't roll a single right. one. Fair. All right. First guy, hitting on threes. Two hits. You would. Wounding on threes. Two wounds. AP three. You're on six ups. Oh, yeah, I don't get count for being in the ruin and cover. Mm -mm. I can see all of you. But I'm in the terrain. It's up to you. You're the TO. Sixes. Oh! oh! He's down to one. Pew! He's down to one. You know what that is? Amazing. Not dead. That's not dead. It's not dead. All right. Second guy. Yep. Three hits. Wish I had lethals. Yeah, no kidding. 
Three wounds. Six ups. So you're saying I just got to roll two sixes? Just roll two sixes. You can do it. All right. I believe in him. Oh, oh my God. I've oh, lost oh, my oh, mind. Oh. All right, I about it. lost my that mind. Guy's dead. All right, and two into the last guy. <coughs> uh, one hit. Yeah, not gonna die. You do have a ZD sitting over there. I do, but you know what's gonna happen? You're gonna spend it, and I'm gonna miss. And you're gonna roll a one. No, I'm just gonna. Nope. Didn't even wound. Didn't even wound him. <laughs> didn't. All even. right, he's fine. Totally fine. He's totally fine. Uh, yeah, okay, so that is the extent of my shooting phase. I got no, uh, I am going to charge. Um, he's down to one. I took that away. Why did I take that away? Unknown. Uh, I'm going to charge the unwounded guy. Just because. Fair, yeah. Uh, are you going to overwatch? I so totally should. <laughs> I, I'm not going to, the only other thing that's been on is, is a saving throw for Void Dragon. Mm-hmm. I will just because it's thematic. <laughs> I will because it's fun. All right, here we fun. go. Six, baby. Dang it. All right. It's so close. Uh, so charging the unwounded dude. I make it. Yeah, you make it. Rawr. Okay, uh, so I, I get I get to fight you first. All right. Because I charged. Yep. I had to do it because world eaters. Yep. All right, fourteen claws, four attacks, threes. That's a leaf. Nope, that's nothing. Yeah, uh, and you don't, then you don't have that no more. Fours. Wow. Wow, boys. We're doing it. Your strength six? Yeah, only strength six? Yeah, only strength six. Only strength. Oh, yeah. no, strength seven. Strength seven. So those three oh, wounds. three you. wounds. That's three wounds. No AP, though, right? No AP. No wounds. I don't take anything. Oh, damn it. Yeah, he takes two. I tried to will it into existence. He takes two. Get it? Will it? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I got it. Yeah. I heard. I was there. I was there. Look, the All jokes right. don't get any better whether you laugh or you don't. So you may so, as well laugh. You're first. I'm going to go with Void Dragon. What? I, I think Sarah's should go first. Negative Ghost Rider. He, he the, is in serious the danger. The pattern's full. He is in serious danger. I'm in danger. All right. Here comes the spear. Mm hmm. Big, big, big swings. Chunky swings. Twos. Why do you hate me? I feel good about that. I feel very good about that. Twos. All right, two and minus three. Oh, um, in case I'm in case there's some order that I'm missing, whatever, uh, I, I'm spending the one so they get plus one to wound. Oh, sure, yeah, yeah. Uh, five ups, first one doesn't matter, but I don't know why. Two fails. Yeah, uh, d six plus two each. Mm -hmm. First one is five. five. Second one is three. Okay, so this is the five. Uh, he's dead. Yeah. Four up. Now he... these. Yep. Oh. Four up. He fights. Four up. He yeah, fights yeah. on death. Nope. <laughs> and then the second guy is dead. dead. Four up. Nope. Nope. Yeah. Not even a little. Tail blades. Six attacks. So that's two. Hitting on deuces. These, these always hit. Mm -hmm. Can I do that on uh, fours? Mm -hmm. Three minus one. Okay. Three four ups. Yes, sir. <sighs> wow. Two each. No, oh, one, each. one each. Okay, so five ups. Don't you do it. I made it. He's alive with one. All right. That's live fine. with one. That's fine. Okay. So we'll I'll spin your CP for you while you're getting dice you. together. Yep. Uh, actually. Oh, what were your secondaries, by the way? Uh, cleanse you? and no prisoners. Oh, okay. So, so I'll so get you're... two points for no prisoners. Maybe. I might kill the void dragon. It's possible. Yeah, it's possible. All right. It's not what I would call impossible. I mean, I got enough attacks. All right. Champion. Everything hits with three lethals. I like that. Uh, you don't have lethals. I don't. Never mind. I'm lying. That's okay. That's why I spent for the two. Cocked. Cocked. That was. That, yeah, yeah. So you're good. Four you're wounds. Good. Four ups. Okay. Two Damage each. each. So down to one. Mm -hmm. If I would feel no pains, I make one. Okay. Down to one. Down to one. So one. Two and three dudes left. Just Hitting you with their down. axes. Not dead yet. Oh, uh, boy. Okay, so some misses, and then twos. All right. Fail some saves for me. I don't want to. Okay. One each, right? Yep. So after reduction? Yep. Five up feeling the pains. Damn, he is dead. See if he blows. Yep. <laughs> of course he does. Your unit, D6. Oh, three. Three. Okay. 
five up, feel no pains. We're good. Oh, so we are good. so good. My, my guy takes three. Five up, feel no pains. I'll take two. Takes two. All right. All right. So that'll be two units I destroyed so far. Mm -hmm. That's good. That feels good. Cleanse is a nice uh, CP. I'll fight back there. Yep. Threes. And threes. Mm -hmm. JP. Uh, minus three. I don't get a save. Uh, flat three each. Up. Okay. Uh, so one guy's dead. One guy's at one. Uh, How many wounds do they have? Four. Gets to fight on death. They, I, there was you, three. One guy's at two. Which, oh, the first right. one kills him. Okay, yeah, the so, second one takes yep, six. second one doesn't fight on death. Okay. So one guy fights on death. You got it. D6 plus two. So that's eight. Mm -hmm. Feeling good on Wednesday. Fours. All right. All right. And fives. Less all right. Cool. Good talk. Less all right. Okay. So, uh, definitely oh, not going to consolidate. You don't want to get into the... Well... No, you can't. You you killed me on your death. You fought on death, right? No, or no, yeah, no, it was normal fight. Yeah, yeah, it was normal, normal fighting. Um, I mean, I can't out OC you because you're OC four. Definitely can... should tag the transcendent. Oh, definitely. Yeah, totally. That's hundred percent. That's the plan. Yeah, yeah, definitely. No, uh, we're gonna. I know because I have to. If I can get close, if I can get in base with you, I have to. Yes, correct. But it's model by model. Correct. So let's get tricky. I'm just gonna. Yeah, you can slide that all out. All right, so that guy would definitely, this guy can get on the objective and stay out of an inch of you. Because, yep. And then this guy can also, and then that guy can't move. So I can't out OC you. But I'm four anyway. Yeah. Well, I mean, but if I could contest it was what I was oh, trying sure, to see. Oh, sure, 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 sure. Before yeah. OC, it's something. Yep. Um, okay, so I'll be binning cleanse for a CP. I'll score four on no prisoners, taking me up to 56. Okay. So you'll go up a CP to one. Mm -hmm. You'll go to 56. Mm -hmm. And then I'll go up another CP in your turn for two. Yep, uh, but... End of your turn, I mm -hmm. have to see what I'm going to pick up. Yes, sir. So I have one guy there. Yep. But he's already in your deployment zone. Mm -hmm. So I don't think there's any reason to pick him up. Mm -hmm. um, Warriors probably want to be picked up. Okay. And I'll probably spend my CP to reanimate in the teleportarium. Nightbringer does not want to be picked up. And Zerus does not want to be picked up. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's probably just the warriors. Oh, I guess the, I guess they had feel no pain, but I guess meh. it's I guess it's just the warrior brick. <clears throat> Six ups aren't worth it. Because now I can shoot at your eight bound. Mm-hmm. So it's just the warriors that are going to come off. Mm -hmm. There's seven over there. Oh, uh, and... I mean, he's fine. Yeah, but I can... It, it's better if I deep strike him in because then I'm nine inches away and then I can see you. Well, doesn't he move eight? Yeah, I think he does. Because, like, if you move eight, you can get to there. But I can't see you. But he's infantry, so you could then charge. Right, but I can't see you. I want to shoot you. I want to shoot you. Who cares? When you're still eight inches away. Okay, all right. Yeah. So, yeah. You're totally fine. Okay, cool. You got this. All right. You we'll got this. Uh, okay. So, command phase. Mm -hmm. I'm going to heal my transcendent satan. Yep. One. So, he's at 11. And you'll also score seven on primary. Uh, eight. You'll score the you'll score 12. Uh, 12. So you have two. 12 yep. on primary. Oh, it's a close game now. So, 55. And then I'm going to spend my one CP that to I gained at the, at the command phase to reanimate warriors. My warriors for, oh, 
helps if I roll in the tray here. Mm -hmm. The one. Cool. Totally worth that CP. Yeah. Good talk. Totally worth the CP. Then I'm also going to reanimate here. Two. So back up back to three. three. And then there for all. Back to full. All these. And on Xeris for three. Back up to full. Or actually, he might have nine. He does have nine, so. But he's at eight. He's at eight. Okay. Um, Go to top down for regular movement. Mm -hmm. And we are going to get closer here. Mm -hmm. This will be the first turn of the game that Nightbringer does anything and gets to use. <laughs> and we already moved him eight, so he's good there. This guy is going to fall back. What? No. Stop it. Come on. Just shoot there. Actually, my shots can go from Xeris into the Forge Fiend. That might be better. Mm -hmm. And then I also don't think I need to shoot there at all. So I'm probably going to send my warriors back here to shoot at some other things. Uh, what's your armor on the mm -hmm. spawn? Four Maybe up. Four up? Four okay. up. T5, four up. Okay. So, oh no, we don't want to come back here by the Forge Fiend because Overwatch is a thing. More dangerous. Yeah, put that on there. Thank you. Well, yeah, but there's nothing else to shoot at, though. I guess I could come over here. Deploy teleport homers. Mm, yeah, yeah. We'll just do that. We'll come over here and deploy. That way... You know what? On the off chance, I'm going to spend the CP to overwatch your Heavy Destroyer when he fell back. Oh, okay. I've got CP. I don't have anything else to spend it on. Yep. So, 3d3 shots. 3, 4, 5. Sixes. Not a 1. Totally worth it. Cool. All right. Shooting. Mm -hmm. uh, my yep. Heavy Destroyer here. Yep. Uh, lethal, too. All right, sweet. Five up. Nope. Flat six. Uh, I have a six up, feel no pain. Which is worth it right now. Mm -hmm. Nope. Not even a little. Bye bye. He's been trying. He wanted it. All right. We're going to go ahead and shoot our Lance three shots into mm -hmm. your spawn yep. from Zeris. Two hits. Mm -hmm. Three is to wound. No wounds. Okay. He's not dying. But he's not doing much else either. Mm -mm. Um, from Nightbringer into your eight mm -hmm. bounds. One shot. Mm -hmm. Hits. And this does not. It isn't sustained, right? Yeah, I don't think so. It is not, no. Uh, that is a wound at minus two. Five up. Nope. Uh, D6 plus three for six. Okay. Since you have the FMP. Five up. Okay. Kills uh, the crap out of that guy. guy dead? Yeah. That's the guy dead. Moited him. You moited uh, him. Then we're going to fire six shots from the Transcendent. Hitting on deuces. Into the A-bell. Mm -hmm. No sustained. Winning on threes. Strength eight. Two at minus two. Five up. Made one. D3. Uh, D3, yep. For one. Five up. We're good. Okay. Then we're going to charge. Mm -hmm. What did I need back there? An one eight. Zeros. An eight. Mm -hmm. How about an eight? You got it. Uh, Nightbringer. Mm -hmm. Make it on Man. a five. We did it. I'm going to go here and toe on. And then there I'm going to go with the transcendent. Makes it no failsies. Yeah, I'll take it. I will take it. All right. You do not have CP to interrupt. I'm going to start nope. with Nightbringer first. Mm -hmm. I'm tempted to sweep here because his sweep is minus two. 
Mm-hmm. Puts them on their five up. Yep. So 14 attacks, hitting on twos. And wounding on threes. Um, I'm spending the CP for the plus one to wound. Just oh, okay. In case, sure. Just in case I get any. Oh, you were those. already out. Oh, I'm out. You overwatched. No, I should have too because I I dropped this. I dropped the. Oh, I probably I, yep. I probably didn't mark it. So I'm now sorry. I'm out. That's yep. good. Now you're out. All right. So five ups. Uh, fail four. Flat two each. Yep. Okay. So eight. Uh -huh. um, first guy is dead. Second guy is alive with one. Okay. First guy is alive with one. Uh, and then the fight on death. Nope. So that's a guy dead. There you go. All right. One now one. the transcendent. Mm -hmm. Just going to go ahead and bite. Five, six, seven, eight. Hitting on twos. Mm -hmm. See some sustains, yeah. So adding two, so add that one back, plus one more. Uh, you, you picked up two misses. Or you picked, I up, picked one up one miss. miss gotcha. And then added another dice gotcha. from the pool. You're fine. Yep. You're fine. And then strength nine to T6 threes. Mm -hmm. That was good. Mm -hmm. That was really good. Right. Minus three. Five ups. Yeah. Not good enough. Failed five. Okay. So these are D3 D6 each. D6 each. Oh, D6 each. Close okay. combat, is the, sh the shooting is D3. I'm just going to roll close the combat ups. is D6. So first one is five. I'm just going to roll the four up. Okay. You got them. Hey, I get to fight on death. All right. All right. Uh, we're going to put both of these into the transcendent. You got it. So that'll be the big boy. Hits three of the times. Wounds three times. Okay. Fours. None. Okay, so three damage, or yeah, three damage after the minus, because two each. It's halved. Yeah, so three damage. Oh, three total failed. damage. Yeah, three I thought you were saying three each. I'm no, sorry. no, three total. Yeah, I got lost in the sauce. Uh, five up, no face. No, takes three. So it takes three. Okay, down to eight. Okay, and then the other guy hits once. Two up, wounds. Four up. Yeah, you. Okay, so you're good. And Zarez picks up my last boys. Well, maybe. Oh yeah, definitely. We gotta, we gotta roll it. All right, four attacks, mm -hmm. threes, because he's prone to only yep. hit twice on threes. Threes, no wounds. Oof. See, he told you. All right. All right. Impaling legs. And then uh, T five. T five. Okay. Threes. Two minus one. Five ups. Made one, failed one. One, one damage. Yeah, one guy down to three. Okay, you're never gonna, mind. You're gonna gain it right back. You don't even need to put it yeah. up. But anyway, so uh, two d six plus four, so seven. Okay, fours. Yeah. Hey, that was better than usual. Fives. That was average. That evened out. Okay, uh, I think that that is. I game. scored eight there. Yep, you so definitely scored up to eight. Sixty three. We can still talk through. Yeah, we can definitely talk it through. Five, because you're still gaining seven. Yep, but I mean... Or no, wait, what's your OC uh, uh, on your home? You're not on it, because you had just enough to get to him, base. Because uh, you rolled the eight. Okay. So it was just to get to him. Okay. Um, they're OC two. What is his OC? Uh, OC is three. Okay. Because um, you said it was an eight, yeah. Yeah, I so can't pile on or consolidate. Yeah. It doesn't matter. So he wouldn't get on there. Um, okay, so I'll get seven points on primary. Mm -hmm. And then... Puts you up to 63 as well. Yep. What are your secondaries? Well, I can't score them. It, well, maybe. Tempting and behind enemy lines. Or, okay. Well, sorry, I did it on the app. But yeah, tempting and behind enemy lines. Um, I don't think I'm getting that. You haven't already gotten those either. Nope. But, okay. Yeah, I yeah but see, that it. one you could have. Mm. Oh, because you have to have it till my turn. Yeah, I have to yeah, have so it until the end okay. of your turn. So, um, yeah. So, 63 points. I'm okay with it. 
Um, Because in your turn, you're definitely scoring quite a bit more. Uh, I am going to... You're going to get 12 for primary. Uh, Well, I'm going to get more than that because I score at the end, I think. Oh, yeah, you do. So I guess what it comes down to is... So primary... If you murder the spawn. Second turn, described above, it does so at the end Mm -hmm. of their turn. Yeah. So uh, I don't even need to kill the spawn. No, you... Well, uh, I mean, it would help. Uh-uh. I just three-inch oh, deep three strike. Deep strike. Yep. And just just yep. tow him here. So that'll get you boom, boom. And then he boom. advances and goes here. Yep. Because I control this at the start. Yep. So it would be sticky. Mm-hmm. This would go away. Yep. So that'd get you a massive amount of. That's 15, 16, 17, uh, 23, 23 mm-hmm. on primary yep. at the end of the game. Yep. And you'll uh, have full. You'll max your And then I'll max my secondaries. Yep. With, so with that'll another put you up eight. to 94. 94 to 63. So that that's... Uh, so 23 puts me to 86. Mm-hmm. Plus another 8. Mm-hmm. So 94. Yep. And then you are just at 63. Still right? at 63. Cool. I mean, for a loss, I feel really good about that. It was those... It was just the... Hey, you know, the saves on those on those My streak is over. Satan. Yeah. Congratulations. Hey, that feels good. Yeah. Forgot what winning felt like for a little while. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. No, that's good. Yeah, that was um, a good game. For sure. For sure it was a good game. Yeah. Um mm-hmm. Hypercrypt still very good. Yes. Had I not made, made the mistake with the monolith, I think it could have been even more oppressive. Oh, but yes. me making that mistake with the monolith, I think yeah. was like and what I mean by the mistake, I don't think putting it back there was a mistake. No, it was the shooting. It was the sh- not yeah. First yeah. And I should have shot the monolith first before yes. I did anything else. Mm-hmm. And then if the monolith dies, whatever. Yeah. But it shooting into that combat, I think, could have been really effective. Yes. And I think I would have left other things alive that then subsequently died because it would have let me. It would have kept me from hitting the void Center dragon objective. quite as hard. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. Honestly, I think sending. I feel like sending um, Invo and his guys there was a mistake. I think I should have gone for that objective. Yeah, and the just far one, just taking it. Tried to take it from you. Yep. Because um, well, you would have had it because I left it. True. Well, no, well, no, no. You still had the, I saw still the transcendent. Transcendent, but yeah. like charging them in there might have been better. Yep. Tying him up. Yep. And leaving you like because you know would have been better. I had the I had the movement to get there and the charge probably would have been better. But I was trying to playing to the secondaries, right. area denial, trying to get you off of there. So do you think with World Eaters, it's better to take fixed? I mean, I, th- I think it depends on the matchup. Because you do what, like no prisoners assassination? Like you just do killy ones? Or it, or actually, I guess you could do like behind enemy lines or... It's, it's generally... Um, behind enemy lines is a really good quarters. one for World Eaters yeah. because you just want to be in their face. Yep. The issue is, especially with an army like Hypercrypt Necrons, you just deploy, all you have to do is deploy back far enough. I can't get you. At least not on the first at turn. At least not on the first turn, because I'm yep. not getting into your deployment zone. And then you can just bounce back behind me, light me up, and then move out a little bit, light me up. So, so maybe, <clears throat> maybe you know, looking through the, the fixed here, maybe engage? Engage is good engage with is the good. Forge Fiends, because you can hold the two... Back two ones. Quarters. Yeah, with your spawn too. Yeah, with spawn too. Because the other thing you could do with spawn is, you know, you could strat reserve one of them and just walk them on in a yeah. corner over to the I side. Think, I think engage is good. The problem is the second one is a hard choice because assassinate, yes, that's what world eaters want to do. Right. But it's never guaranteed. Uh, assassinate, I, I think, oftentimes is a trap just because um, your opponent can dictate. Yes. Right? Like, they, 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 I just won't give you a character you can kill with anything. They get anything. to control it. Yep. Like they're controlling it. Well, um, more they so have an than, opportunity. Yes. More so than if you they know, have they have an opportunity to control it. Yeah. Right. More so than with engage. Like engage, I control that. Yeah. That's me. I just move there um, and go. I think bring it down's good in certain matchups. Right, yeah, that's the easy one. Very matchups. specific. Like, oh nice, right, great. Yeah. Bring it down. Um but yeah, I I want to go I want to say fixed works with world leaders, but I think it's just too difficult of a choice. Like you're wasting too much brain power at the beginning of the game trying to figure it out. Right. I think you're better off going tactical and just maxing out primary as best you can. Yep. You know, you just get onto primary with something squishy first turn, let them kill it. Okay, I stickied it, and then they move on to it and oh, I get to charge you now. 
Right. You know, yeah. like that's what you want to be doing, and then you hope for good for, for good secondary draws. Yeah. And yeah. then you know what? CP is always good. Just start binning, get your, just bin it. Get your secondaries. Right. Get your CP from the secondaries and and play, play the game. Yep. So yeah, Hypercrypt still very good. Still very very still good. Still very good. I am excellent. I'm still very happy with with Hypercrypt Legion. Um, Canoptic Court. I played a little while ago. It's still looking good as well and, mm -hmm. and strong as well, but I still think the mobility of Hypercrypt is just, especially going into, you know, tactical or taking, you know, objectives like I did here where mm -hmm. you have a lower model count, it's easier for me to have a mm -hmm. place to put things in your backfield yep. more reliably because um, mm -hmm. you kind of have to send your assets forward. Yeah. So, uh, but yeah, Hy Hypercrypt's still good. Still good. I still really want to get my, I want to get my Destroyer Cult back on the table. Because that was that's a fun army. I really like that one. Yeah, and I and I do I do commend you for sending and dedicating things to go back into that corner. Mm -hmm. um, because if you didn't, then I'd just be shooting you from behind the whole yep. game. Yep. So you had the, the, you had had the you, range. Had you not done that, then I would have moved the monolith over, tried to shoot into your home objective, mm -hmm. um, maybe even deep deep strike something three inches away mm -hmm. and send other shots forward. Mm -hmm. um, and tried to, you know, stop your two points, taking six points from you, yeah. um, you having, know, for the, for the rest of the game. Having played Hypercrypt quite a bit yeah. myself, I knew that as soon as that went down there, I was like, as world eaters, there's nothing I can do to stop you. Right. You right. are back there. It's, I'm just giving that up. Yep. So my plan, my game plan was, like I said at the beginning, was I'm going to play KG, stay close enough to my deployment zone that when you do, whatever you commit, Hopefully I can hit it. And then getting assassination, bring it down first turn, not great, but that set me up for a nice second turn, 11 points, Yep. which was really good. Because I think I did, I got 20 points on secondary, 33 on primary. Not terrible. No. Feeling pretty good yeah. about it. Yeah. Um, and it's just that thing of like with world eaters, the problem with world eaters right now is you can't trade. Yeah. You just can't. You have to murder everything. But then with the changes to the combat movement you know i can't i don't have a six inch consolidate i don't have a i, I don't think i do i hope i don't otherwise i'm <laughs> otherwise i i really messed up this game quite a bit because right. i could hit right. stuff a lot harder yeah um but yeah otherwise yeah once i i'm hoping in the next day to slate world leaders get a bit of a change and i really hope for their codex that we get rid of blood yahtzee and get something a bit more I will say I did I did like my Void Dragon a lot better this game than mm -hmm. I have in previous games. Yeah. Hence why I took a Deceiver to LVO and yep. um, was kind of leaning towards it for some other events that I played in. Just the smaller base and, uh, you know, stuff like that. So, mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, great game. Yeah. Excellent. Uh, thanks for fun. another one. Yeah, another good one. And uh, hey, follow us on the socials if you're not. Instagram is a great place to find uh, pictures of models that, um, you know, we've, we've painted up or that we're playing here on the channel. So uh, if you want to get that, you know, hobby fix, definitely Instagram. Check us out. Um, TTW40K, I believe. Or no, I'm sorry. Tabletop Warriors YT. Okay. At Tabletop Warriors YT. Mm -hmm. That's where you can find us on Instagram. Um, but yeah, follow us on the socials. Smash that subscribe and like button. Uh, interact with us in the comments for sure. Um, we reply to everything. So not a single comment has gone, uh, you know, unresponded to. Um, whether it's your initial comment or if we start a conversation. So. Um, appreciate you guys friends. watching for sure for <laughs> sure yeah um, only good ones though and preferably you know find me in the DMs yeah yeah that's the way still tell my wife yeah no yeah alright guys well hey thanks again for watching uh, we'll see you on the next one and we'll keep them coming see you guys have a good one alright